Hey, I think it's time we talk about the Patreon. Patreon's the the underlying reason why the thing that connects me, Stalt, Brian, Poob. Without it, we would have stopped speaking to each other years ago. But uh, it's the one thing that tethers us together. And it's fueled by you guys. Uh, you guys have been duped into buying into this two-tier system. When everybody knows the future is in one-tiered systems. Don't blame me. I'm not the architect of this thing. I stole it from uh, everybody's favorite YouTuber, Critical. And I went to hit, when I was starting my, uh, my Patreon, I went to his fucking podcast Patreon and I looked at it and I said, I'll take that. And I stole it and I changed the names of all the tiers. And then I just put it, I just went live and, and then you guys bought into it. And, uh, and since then I realized that it's so convoluted, fucked up the way it is, doesn't make any goddamn sense. Um, and it's, uh. The value's not there. It, the value's there for Critical because he's Critical. He's a household name. My grandma knows who Critical is, you know? Um, my grandma doesn't even know who I am, you know? And it's, it just, it's, uh, I don't think it's a good value. It's $10 for the tier two, right? And fucking $10, you can get like Netflix. Netflix it has a million movies on it, all these TV shows. Netflix originals, those are great, right? Again, Bird Box won Academy Awards, I think. And um, with ten dollars on my podcast, you can't you can't even buy a smile. You can't even buy two laughs. You know, it's just three guys that are screaming at each other, trying to figure out who's on the spectrum. It turns out we're all on the spectrum. You know, that's not worth ten dollars. So, anyways, we're we're changing the the Patreon is now going to be a one tier system. Five dollars get you everything. It gets you Discord perms. It gets you, uh, which by the way, those are pick perms. You can post whatever gross shit you want in the fucking Discord thing, as long as it doesn't break the rules. And then you also get access to uh, two episodes a month early before everybody else, a week before everybody else. And then one um, patron exclusive episode. And of course, when you buy in, you get access to the now 20 something other patron exclusives that have been done. 30 of them or whatever. I don't know how many there are. But, um, you know, that's the system now. Now, I'm not getting rid of the $10 tier because I know some of you aren't going to see this and you're going to just keep it on there because you forgot who I was and you were like, you haven't realized that every month $10 comes out because you actually have a job or something. So I'm going to leave it up there, but there's going to be no purpose. It's just going to be for people that got a little bit extra money and they want to give it our way, you know. Um, but, uh, and, and you might say, Sam, this is a noble thing to do. This was the right thing to do, to know your own self-worth. You know, is this stupid podcast worth the amount of money you're getting out of it? Absolutely not. And I'd like to think of, I'd like to think that you guys would think that I'm some sort of, maybe kind of a, a nice guy, maybe a guy that's willing to take a pay cut to provide a service for his fans. When in reality, I'm just running scared from the thought of being bumped up into a new tax bracket with Biden's new aggressive tax plan. I can't bear the thought of it. So uh, <laughs> I'd rather pass the savings on to you guys and avoid having my money go to Uncle Sam. Because I know he's just going to turn around and buy Stinger missiles and blow up Palestinian kids with it. And I can't abide by that. Those Palestinian kids could have been General Sam fans. And then that money would then go back into my pocket. Hmm? There's, some, there's, there's logic there somewhere. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this episode has Omid in it. Uh, he's a, a Twitch streamer. He's our guest for today. And I, I hope you enjoy it. Then I can take it off. That way he won't put the fucking clap into the episode. Because every episode mm. starts with... Shit that is 100% supposed to be edited out. Where's Brian at? They call him the Pussy Slayer. Whoa! <laughs> <Christ>. uh, <laughs> <ew>. <laughs> Why do you have multiple of those? Backups, I suppose. Yeah. 
Had your greasy, stinky, <laughs> fucking hoggers in this. Yeah. How many of those uh, fucking things do you have? It looked like you had two or three of them. I had two. I had two. Uh, okay. Uh oh. I black screen. <laughs> I fucking broke everything. No, we're good. We're good. No, no don't look at my bike. Uh, don't look at my thumb. thumb. That's my thumb. thumb. No. <laughs> Was no, that a picture of a wanted, bird? Was that a scale? It was a dove. Like a it was a dove. Was <laughs> it was a dove. I, I, mark my, I, I take pictures of my kills before mm. and after <laughs> before as well. Before you kill them? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, I, oh, but yeah, you know. You know that would have been a lot better if I had a widescreen. My history I've had is someone's got to look at that picture and see exactly what species of dove that is. And then look at their migration patterns and be able to triangulate where the fuck you live. And the then morning they'll, dove. And they're then everywhere. They'll find your backyard <laughs> through that. <laughs> they're everywhere in fucking Canada. Canada? Uh, nope. You just gave them yeah, a huge He just, he just oh, made it so much easier. There we go. Yeah. yeah. And he's not oh, speaking wow. uh, French. Okay, <laughs> we, we're getting a little bit closer. Yeah. I'll give you another hint. Well, Ontario. Out. <laughs> well, nobody lives well, anywhere else, do they? Quebec. Um, yeah, but you're not speaking French. British Columbia. Columbia. Like English speaking. Alaska. No. British Columbia, but it's daylight, so it's probably not there either. Mm. <laughs> Damn, they'll, they'll figure it out. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Should we do that, uh, Connor an intro? No, no, you... no. Hey, we got Omid here. <laughs> Hello. I'm not doing an Hello intro. Me. I'm pissed Hello off me. at him. Great to be here. Uh, Hi. Yeah, I raided him early, like last week or something like that. And I sent all my people over there. And then and he didn't give you enough thanks or something. Petty. He didn't get up. <laughs> no, he didn't get out. Like a... he, there was a couple Italian people that I sent over there because uh, I have a very Italian audience. And he immediately uh, starts banning every Italian like word that you could oops. say in chat. Well, a pepperoni, which I think like pepperoni cultural included. silencing. That's not. Well, was cultural which, silencing yeah, to, to not deny TOS. somebody's heritage. Mm-hmm. Is he? Are you Italian? I'm not. No, I'm so not. Italian. Italian. If he was Italian, it would be fine. He's not Italian, but he. <laughs> Some. Moon. Oh, you got moonshine? That mm-hmm. shit. Hell yeah. Wait, what are you then? Uh, I'm, I'm Iranian. God. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So Sam was just annoyed Iran. because as soon as you, he raided you, you took out the fucking prayer mat and started going like this. <laughs> yeah, like, he actually, like he made, even, I told everybody yeah, he was that's Italian. That's what I should have done. I should have started yeah. blasting uh, Persian music. That would have yeah. been that would have been even better. Oh, they, they can't hit you with the uh, the Italian shit as much for sure. Yeah, they hit. They got hit with everything. We got we took out 1983 and 1984 and 1985. Uh, just so they couldn't like complain about well, like, any of like those. 1983 plus one or something. They yeah, yeah. <laughs> All those years, <laughs> we were very thorough with uh, with uh, the suppression. Oh my god! And yeah, you, you have like a rough. a god mod on there, don't you? He's like oh, really dude. active. Yeah, Arcos. He's a god mod. Uh, he, I think he mods like Aquas Chat, like whole mm. four thousand viewers all by himself. I need so, to. Very impressive. He must be an overworked slave then. Yeah. Oh, dude, he has like a bot yeah. set up to automatically, you know, like remove every uh, Italian related word. Did it, it, Italy just won the, the Euro the Cup, world? too. Yeah, yeah. after the yeah, Cup. Come on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Really bad. People want to yeah. celebrate. They're just going to use yeah, it as a fucking rolling pin, yesterday. the trophy. British people are 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 uh, taking their defeat very poorly and becoming very racist, Fuck which is yeah. surprising. Did you hear? Did it's, you hear it's that? It's like, uh, where like the the Italian women are parading in the streets naked and they look beautiful and everything, and then and then the British side they're just angry and racist. And, uh, yeah, and all the and all the wives are walking out with black eyes. <laughs> yeah, there, there's actually a statistic where whenever Italy or not Italy, uh, England loses a soccer game, there uh, a lot of people drink Stellas. And they just beat the shit out of their wives. No, the, the like, statistic like the was funnier abuse. than that. The statistic was yeah, funnier because it also funnier said... Funnier than beating your wife. Yeah. No, domestic abuse goes up. It's when skyrockets. When England plays, domestic abuse goes up like 20%. Yeah, and then when England <laughs> loses, it goes up by like 35%. It's even worse. But just the fact that they're competing, they're just like... <laughs> Fucking son of a bitch. Uh, bunch of stinkers over there. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're not doing too much drunk. better, but god damn. No, I mean, look at you, dude. We're at the we're at the peak of civilization. I got a, we get I to got talk a new down. house. You can 
yeah. you can move you can move up in this place the american dream is alive <laughs> it's real and alive. it's real i achieved it uh yeah for the audio decision. listeners out there poob is sitting right now five thousand square foot villa overlooking uh the countryside mm -hmm. floor to ceiling tell windows tell the audio listeners how hot my wife is Holy you shit! You can see her right? in the back. Yeah. No, not her. My my smoking <laughs> hot wife. Is she very conscious about the <laughs> whole pandemic and everything. But. <laughs> Tell them I got a, all, all the classic cars. I got triple. She's very well, this very is well a, furnished. A bit from that show, I think you should watch. But anyway. <laughs> Yeah, she has tell, a ghetto booty. Tell the audio listeners how cool my place is. I've got it's pretty uh, cool. He's got molding. everything. He has got everything. An Xbox. <laughs> I have Sega everything Genesis. you'd ever need. Yeah. You guys are just going to have to take our word for it. I got <laughs> fucking books. I need to. I need to get back on on Facebook so I can just laugh oh, at other God. people's lives, just yeah. friend people that I don't know. <laughs> That is like, uh, it's really like disgusting yeah, what I Facebook do on there, but is. that is, I basically go on there and I'm like, oh my, all these kids from my school have like, they're on their fourth kid or something. I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing too bad right now. Also, yeah, I just like, they wanted. can't imagine having like a child right now. Like, yeah, that's the dog, worst thing like, I've ever heard of. Yeah. yeah, I can't imagine having two kids. That's yeah. Like, yeah, that's double fucking fuck up. Because that means you didn't learn from your first mistake. Yeah. yeah. You went and fucked up You twice. doubled down. They doubled well, down. Have you yeah, ever yeah. seen, like, some people will get, like, a dog, and it's unruly, and it just tears up so the you furniture? Get a second one. And so you get a second one, so it has company, and will maybe calm down. It never oh works because then you just have like they get a pack mentality Dude. and they tear up the furniture. Two little tears. Yeah. yeah. If you can send them house. back, <laughs> yeah. uh, you can just it's, get rid of them. It's kind of like the cutest thing I've ever seen right now. There's a, a dog that keeps getting dropped off here. Uh, that's like. You don't know who he is. You don't no, know who's dropping him off. It's my roommate's <laughs> mom's oh. dog and she drops it off while she goes to work sometimes because it's like blind and deaf. And it, <laughs> I, when I first saw it, because I, I just walked in there and it was laying down. And I thought it was a stuffed, like, I thought it was a toy. Because it was completely still, and it has, like, curly hair, and it's so goddamn old. And I, like, touched it. it and I, could, I still <laughs> couldn't tell if it was real or not. <laughs> and, like, eventually it was like... Ah, like, up his, like milk blue yeah, eyes. Yeah, creepy. It's so... It was kind of creepy, but... Its name that, is Little Brother, and it's maybe the cutest name I've ever, that's I've ever heard. And, like, Pip tries to play with him, and he just sits there, like... Fucking dead. Yeah. Like, wait, is he blind uh, and and deaf? And he's just, he's like a fucking yeah. Ellen Keller dog. And yeah, like, dude, come on, like, put that thing down. Like, yeah, uh, throw it in the dog, garbage. Like, it's still like, I mean, it just is like a stuffed animal. I don't it's know. Suffering. It's, <laughs> yeah. But like, Pip is like trying to play it. Like, it's definitely like. You, when you have to play with your weird little cousin or something, does like, it even try like, to play back? Like, it has no, 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 it doesn't know <laughs> what's happening. It seems no, so just detached from reality, like, or like it horrified. <laughs> it still eats, it still like Jeez, pees it and it stuff face. and poops. How does it get he, to the, the food? Oh, yeah, uh, I guess it's in just, your house, it, it doesn't smell. know it where the smell. It can smell. Wait, it uh, just smells all the way, like a smell. You know, dogs, since the smell is like its strongest, yeah. Uh, sense besides touch, of course, uh, uh, and taste. Um, but I guess I don't know how it fucking works. I, it creeps me out, but I think it's also really adorable. Its name is Little Brother, and it's, it's their around. mom's dog, and it's like their weird little old man, <laughs> little brother dog. Yeah, it's really <laughs> cute, honestly. It is pretty adorable. Uh, oh, that thing is damn, this thing me. just keeps slipping out. Fucking nipple stuff. Put a bar over there. Yeah. <laughs> like gorgeous nip knop. Uh, Free that nip, bro. Uh, got a little something there, did, too. I know that you did, Pooh, but uh, did Omid, Brian, did you guys watch that Conor McGregor fight? I, I did. Bits of it. Yeah. I looked up and saw the important part where his leg just snaps in like, half out of nowhere. Every yeah. fight was so quick. Yeah, it was over yeah. really early. Yeah. And the, yeah, that, that was pretty gruesome. Like the replay of it just. What what spurred that opinion. on? I don't know like what happened. It, he just goes to throw a punch and then his leg just disintegrates. I, I, I love the the announcers like yeah. you went to throw a punch, you missed, and then you step backward and like <laughs> broke your ankle. Oh, like, oh I fucking yeah. I didn't. didn't yeah. You can't understand a goddamn oh, word he says afterwards. <laughs> yeah, <'cause he's> the <laughs> funniest thing was like uh, the fight was over. They go to the winner and they're like you know talking to the winner and and shit. And Connor's just sitting down there in the exact spot that he like. <laughs> 
he uh yeah. he, he went down they forgot he's just about talking him. shit from there while they're like yeah. you know doing the you know f uh, finishing up with the winner and then joe rogan just goes down and takes like a seat next to connor <laughs> and is <laughs> he kind of just goes straight to the shit talk yeah, I mean, yeah. it's so it's so like he's like such a sore loser but still yeah like he just yeah. yells out your wife's in my dms <laughs> is just I, uh, what a ridiculous and yeah it's then like, he had to get like stretchered out after he was like i'm gonna send him home in a stretcher and yeah. then he just gets and he like gets carded out. and he's like still trying to look cool as he's being carded out he's yeah like, doo, 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 like doing dumb little hand stuff I'm like dude, yeah at on. the end of the day he broke his own leg yeah like, it's like that video the punch you, and you, you see that video leg. of that fucking that fat kid that's like he's dancing to some anime weeb music and he fucking like rolls on his ankle and he fucking falls down he starts screaming oh, oh yeah he it, does yeah. it's uh and he does like a it's fucking in front of a classroom shout. right mm-hmm yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like a no, show and tell thing where he's like, yeah. "Check this out, guys!" And he rolls his ankle and then yeah. cries. And he the starts... teacher's just like, doesn't even get up. <laughs> he's just like... yeah, he just he does a Tom and Jerry shouty scream. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, he's just screaming, and, and the music's still playing. So and it's fucking hilarious. Just sitting like, there, like I yeah. get paid thirty five thousand dollars a year for this shit. Oh yeah. God, I love the one too. The fat kid tries to like jump over something and his legs just go through the like tile ground have you seen that yeah, yeah. and then he just falls over i mean that's an oldie but goodie like uh that'd be so humiliating i can't imagine being in high school and being like the kid that broke the ground <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. oh dude in like 2007 right when katrina hit and it, it just swamped new orleans uh, a bunch of, um, I guess, refugees moved into my area and we had to take in like X amount of them and they put up like uh, oh. public housing and stuff for them. And so we got some new students at, in my <laughs> middle school and one of them was this really fat chick. And I oh, remember no. she uh, she sat on a fucking picnic table and just snapped it I'm in half. Oh my god! <laughs> no, this lady was big. She sat on a picnic <laughs> table, like snapped it in half, and then and then blames it on this skinny girl next door. She's like, <laughs> she broke it, Whoa, bitch. You yeah. broke the table, no, bitch. And you the girl, broke it. the girl that like it was blamed on, she was like. What the fuck? Like, I was your only <laughs> friend. You moved here. Your house, yeah, everything you own is underwater. Bitch. I was your only friend, and you blame this on me? <laughs> you, you're homeless. You have no friends. Wait. You're fucking morbidly obese. <laughs> fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Dude. It's like, it maybe. Oh, fuck. Sorry, Brian. Go ahead. I'm what? cutting you off. No, no, maybe, no. Say no, I'm thing. just saying. Maybe she's oh, like. Oh, no, Brian. Go ahead. Say your thing. Okay, go ahead. No, go, go, Pooh. What are you going to say? I forgot. <laughs> okay, well. I was. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty sick. Yeah. Aren't what were you people gonna supposed say? to be nice? I was dude? gonna say maybe she's got a warped perception, like a reverse shallow oh. howl. Like she just thinks oh. she's skinny and everyone's a fat retarded person. I think what it was is she was yeah. sitting yeah, on the picnic table. About her being stupid. You just oh no, <laughs> she, was, she was dumb. Oh come on, yeah. she tried to blame oh, the on, skinny she's kid. She's fat. She's got to be stupid. No, she's she, okay. Oh, fat is an indicator. Being that obese, probably a good indicator. Second of all, she decided to live in a place that's below sea level. Come on, you're yeah, just asking for trouble. That. Yeah, she, oh, you know what? Everyone there deserved it. I think. I that's what I think. Yeah. My aunt's house yeah. was completely destroyed by the by the <laughs> oh hurricane. God. Really? Yeah. That but, sucks. Yeah, and we visited her once in the airport. It was all ravaged and everything. It was a like ghost town. <laughs> she was like under the debris. Sitting yeah. there. <laughs> it's fucked up. Yeah, her dog didn't make it, but. <laughs> she did. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Funny cool, at all. <laughs> cool topic. It's not funny at all. It's so sad. It reminds me of that tragedy. Uh, oh god. <laughs> you okay, Pooh? Is that serious? What's the, yeah. well, yeah. well, what's the I mean, dog exactly. name? I mean, it happened like that long ago, though. I was yeah. like a kid. I don't really. <laughs> but I, I, did get a, I did get a sick katana out of it, like. They had a couple like katanas in their house. They're like, this is one of the only things that got like that, that we were able to salvage, it. and it had like water damage on like it was obviously, you know it wasn't like a very expensive one, but it, it turned oh. like that blue uh, like rust stage on it, and I always thought it was yeah. super cool looking. And one of my dumbass friends, you might listen to this, he's not a dumbass, uh, but he put it like into the ground, and he's like, let's see how far we can stick this katana into the ground. And I'm like, oh, okay, like 
sure. So I'm like just pushing it down and he's like, oh, I've got an idea. And he started, you know, the little handle guard. The he started like jump. Yeah, he yeah. started oh, okay, sure. like a pogo it. stick. Yeah, he started jumping <laughs> on it to try and drive it further into the ground. And just it snapped at one point, like on the handle. And he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'll buy you a new one. I'm like, are you going to let it survive a hurricane? Too? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. That's my yeah. Katrina. Cool my Katrina. Katana. Come on. Yeah. My Katrina. Yeah. Katana, what have you that done? <laughs> you can't buy that with money. And then no. he's always yeah. like, well, I'll buy you another one. Never did. Oh, oh yeah, wow. Sure. What a dickhead. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> you <laughs> fuck guy. Him. Yeah. Wait, no, what's his first and last name? Doxum. <laughs> no, he's, he's, a, he's a nice guy, but doesn't yeah. know shit about how to put a katana really deep in the ground. <laughs> so it's pretty yeah. telling. Yeah. That's one of the first we, things you learn as a katana owner is how to properly. The ground it is like the meat the of the earth. So it's like, oh, yeah. if you can stick it really far in the ground, you can kill a guy. Yeah. That's what my aunt told me. This was buried 20 feet below the ocean level after the waves <laughs> swept in. If you can swim down there and retrieve it, you can have it. And yeah. I did. And then he destroyed it. So You're just trying to King Arthur that shit. That's, yeah. that's what you were doing. Yeah. He don't, actually don't just lodged it from the dead dog and just fucking went, I'm the chosen <laughs> one! I was down to st- fight off a bunch of sharks and shit. It was badass. <laughs> oh my and fucking, god. It's, and dogs. It's, Electrical it's, wires. <laughs> Electrical wires. <laughs> <So, yeah. laughs> Some people that were trapped, they're like, no, oh, <laughs> grabbing onto his ankle. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> almost, wait. Uh, oh, shit, I almost broke this headset. I think there's like a loose wire on the back. I just fucking ripped it down. But yeah, there's people in my way. I had to cut through them and the cut debris. Arms, One yeah. fell swoop. Yeah. I just slashed a 20 foot wide hole into the earth. Uh, but yeah, I made it out. What the hell is this? Uh, <laughs> only to get it destroyed by that asshole friend. Yeah. Yeah, it must have been stronger than even I. So, and the sea. That's his one little, that's his little positive spin on the end in case he watches. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I guess he's the strongest guy in the world. <laughs> 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 to destroy my magic blade. I don't know. He it's destroyed pretty Poseidon's katana. Yeah. Oh. It used to glow, too. When it touched water. <laughs> yeah, but whatever. Can you hear the now. haunting screams of the <laughs> yeah, dead people? I can hear all the souls of all the victims of Katrina in it. Yeah. Listen in. Anyway, that was a tragedy. Let's not joke about that. Yeah, let's oh. move on. And yeah, come on. There we go. Uh, you know Next how like uh, la- we we had we actually got so, together on Friday, right? And we recorded yeah. like 14 minutes of a podcast and just uh, decided we weren't even in the fucking mood, right? Yeah. And in that time. I made about 14 rape comments and Pooh was like, you're really rape centric recently yeah, for some yeah. reason. And I realized I was, after that, I immediately went and watched more Sharp. I've been watching Sharp. It's like a show <laughs> from 1993. I realized like that whole show is the past two seasons is nothing but rape. That's all it is. I've been, this is your oh, like, favorite show right now. Right now. I love this show. But every episode, there's like a damsel in distress. That's of course they like they're like we're gonna fucking rape this bitch unless you come save her, Sharp. Oh my god! And there's like three women in the show. Sharp shows up, who's played by Sean Bean in his like twenties. Okay. And every woman in the entire universe is attracted immediately to Sharp for some reason. Like they will be in bed with like twenty dudes trying to rape her. Sharp comes what, in, what, saves the, like literally, yeah, li- literally, like this. No, this like lady is show. abducted, yeah. just, right? She's yeah. held in a castle. They've been threatening her for like a fortnight that they're gonna like do her in, rape her yeah, in front like, of her yeah, husband yeah. and everything, yeah. unless he they he like pays the ransom. And they're like, even if he pays the ransom, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna kill we're him stuck. when he shows up. We're gonna rape you anyways. And yeah, she's just like, holy shit! Rape. Sean Bean shows up, and he's like, hey, I'm here to break you out. And she's like, oh, you're Sean Bean in your twenties. Do you want to yeah. fuck? Like they fuck right there in the bed you yeah. would not be in the mood no, uh, she has a husband yeah. too what wow on top of all that on top of all th- right there in the room where she was threatened constantly maybe she was into it and like she was already ready no, no, that's how you nah, know it's like guys what? the guys what? Yeah, don't fetish <laughs> that's, that's, that's sickening well, are, well poop does it okay anyways <laughs> what is it <laughs> Caught it well, straight. No, but like, like, why would they wait then if they were gonna do it anyways? They could have gotten pre game because they're they're waiting for Sean Bean. He's got they're plot, actually he's no, got, they're gonna, that's he's plot got pussy. Catering. He's got plot pussy <laughs> that has to be founded. You know? I thought they, <laughs> yeah, you see her, you see her uh, uh, boobas. 
It's for the people like you that are watching. They're like, all right, we got to yeah. throw a little smut in there. Just keep oh, going. for a little bit, yeah. Oh, maybe they were just planning a party, so maybe they just were holding off. There was a, like, well, there was some. What's funny though is, is that this show and... just totally throws poor people under the bus. Like, they, uh, she gets abducted and she has like maids and stuff, you know, helpers because she's like a, a like a higher up lady in society. But her like little handmaids and stuff got immediately raped, and they don't right. even oh, yeah. they don't even show them. They just you <laughs> see them in the background getting yeah. tossed around. <laughs> But then she's Sean like, Bean didn't come for them. She's yeah. like, I'm glad nothing's happened to me. <laughs> and, yeah. yeah. See, well, there's this giant orc man that just put the whole maid on his dick and he flings in her into the a background, pot, yeah. body. There's a body of a pile of bodies. You hear her in the, the background bar. just and she's like, yeah. Woo! Oh, glad damn, this isn't down. fucking happening to me. Yeah. That's a pretty good show. Um yeah, that's yeah. Cool. but I 100 percent blame the show for my uh my actions. I think I'm at, at, at Have heart. You've been I'm watching a, a that show guy. for years. Yeah, I'm literally. I started watching it in like 2016, probably. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. That's a good segue. Cardinals, my state bird. What's <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mine's a cardinal too. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Beef, beef between. Yeah, they're running out <laughs> between the you mean, red? Like, just a regular cardinal. The females are the red ones, right? She's just a, she's no, just a they're, female. they're both ones. red. One's less, one's less red than the other. I think the males oh, are the pretty males. ones. Yeah, yeah. Oh, one's a more humans, and then the females are yeah. just god awful same to look with, at. Same with like a lot of types of birds, right? Yeah. I mean, they're not awful to look at. They still have like little bird titties and stuff, but <laughs> oh, they're just god. not as colorful. Yeah. Sometimes I don't need them to be so loud. Okay. I like a little more modest bird. It's just got a nice little beige, like whatever little bird dress on. And no, yeah. bird this isn't going Jesus. well with your, with your Christmas yeah, talk. Yeah, first, but at the I end, they get an animal kind thing. of bird. Yeah, yeah you, know. you sure? <laughs> uh, they play I, hard to get. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I remember Cardinals here would like, my dad used to have a red truck. And they're just dumb as shit or something and would just run into the side of the like well not run. It's, it's just birds. Sometimes. They just fly into the like red truck all the time thinking it's like a big ass bird pussy or something. I don't know. <laughs> but they're just thinking it was the juiciest, stinkiest bird. I'm not just kidding. I don't have a animal thing. Um, yeah. Yeah, my uh my grandfather. Before he died. Yeah, my grandfather. <laughs> He uh, he had this thing about having a Cadillac. Like that was the peak of his. He's like, I'm at the top of society if I have a, a fucking Cadillac. Cadillac. So he had a, like a '98 Cadillac Seville, and, and the crash and it crumbled. <laughs> no, it, it would sit yeah. in the. And he had a circle driveway and it would sit right at the like the apex of the circle. And he used to sit there and just stare out his front window at this fucking bird that would sit on his like rear view mirror, and it would stand on the mirror. And then look down at itself upside down in the mirror and freak out and just peck the mirror. And he would just he would sit there and look at it. He's like, fucking bird scratching up my mirror, man. And like he as soon as I would come over, he'd be like, Sam, can you go out there and scare that bird off? And like I would go scare it off. And then less than 30 seconds later, the fucking thing would circle back around. He's like, That fucking bird is still over there. And that thing, over the course of like two years, it was still, I don't know how long birds live for. The thing totally yeah, hundred wrecked his side mirror so bad where oh, you really? can see where it's fucking it just stood there and did little scratches with Talons. its thumbs yeah, yeah. and then it, it just kept pecking in the same place and just scratching up his fucking side mirror uh, that's yeah. awesome I would have killed that little bird, fucker yeah. if I ever got my fucking hands on it I would have <laughs> fucking <laughs> 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 bring it his up. goddamn bird yeah. fucking yeah. neck yeah. Well, I, I asked him, I was like, yeah, I have a BB gun. Do you want me to shoot it? And he's like, no, you'll hit my car. So <laughs> yeah. he just resorted to me my going friend. out there and just waving my arms at it. <laughs> yeah. fucking, oh, man. Uh, put a scarecrow. He should have put a little piece of cardboard over his window or something. No. Nah, yeah, that would have solved everything. If you he put like a little fucking blanket. Yeah, well, it's like a yeah. Tom and Jerry type thing. Yeah, like, he, he doesn't really want to catch the mouse. Yeah, I'd been retired since the 80s. He had nothing going on. The bird, like, he didn't want to get rid of the bird. You know, bird, yeah. bird yeah. Go yeah. it's like the Joker yeah. doesn't want to kill Batman. Like it, he needs it. He hates it, but yeah. he needs yeah. it. You know, yeah. Yeah. just shitting and bird. pissing in his diaper. Bird, bird on the window. <laughs> yeah. We are like the worst uh, people to incorporate guests into a podcast. Ever. Oh. Hey, oh me, what's I'm your sorry, favorite I'm corpse a... husband song? Uh, 
Agrophobic, <laughs> sure. That's the only one I can What's think that of one? right now. Is, but that, is that even yo, a fucking I, song? That's pretty. It is. It's like one good of that the, you could uh, even think of one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, the thing is I'm a about fan Corpse of them Husband all. is that I used to I used to watch Corp or listen to uh, Corpse Husband um, when he did scary stories like creepy pastas and shit mm -hmm. before he ever did music. He did he did uh, like creepy pastas and shit, and I just put that on like instead of like the radio while I was driving around, and uh, when I like. I had I'd, I'd stopped listening to him for a long time, and then all of a sudden he was like doing Among Us, and I was like, "What the fuck? <laughs> what was he doing?" Oh. Uh, but yeah, it's crazy. It, it's actually an interesting little like genre. Those creepy pasta guys—they're really versatile. <laughs> you yeah. know, those they, they read up. Sing, One of them started a rap career as well. Yeah. Well, logic. What no <laughs> logic. Yeah. yeah, he used to do creepy pastas. Um, but no, it was uh, I don't know. It's the you got you know the guy that does number fifteen Burger King foot lettuce. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, one? yeah, yeah. Chills yeah. or whatever. Chills. Yeah. He has a rap song. Oh, what the fuck? It's fuck. He has the same cadence to his voice in the song. Yeah. Oh, the, God. It, it, that that's like his cadence. That's, yeah. I always thought it was a bit, but no, that's his voice. No, he did. Yeah, we, he just talks like that. Yeah. We weird. found out yesterday that a previous guest has a rap song. It's actually really, oh, really, yeah. really, 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 really bad. Um, I think he's about well in like that, man. Very... No. Well, he's got good well... music, dude. Well, is good. Why you gotta? No, I'm not gotta... talking about Wellen. Yeah, we're not talking about Wellen. Damn, oh, okay. you, know, yeah. well, you just assumed we said yeah. bad, and you thought we were they... talking about Wellen. Yeah. No, it was uh, really, money wubby. you know, insulting yeah. him here. I love all of Wellen's about... songs. Okay, I just couldn't hear it. You know, we're talking about money wubby. Right yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Look up rap. Rap cod. No rap cod. Yeah, yeah. Wait, Call of Duty. Yeah, yeah, he's got Call yeah, of Duty rap. rap. Oh, that's a, awesome. <laughs> he did a Call of Duty rap song? Uh, I'm beginning to feel like I love COD, love COD. Uh, yeah, when, after I got ready to say, those people were like, you gotta listen to this, you gotta listen to this. It's awful. Well, it's a song. It's it exactly a what you think song. it is. Parody songs in themselves are... They're an art form, really. You take all you take all the big words in a song and you re tweak them slightly with a funny word for the thing you're parodying. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, rap God, you see what he did there. It's actually very clever. He turned that into rap cod, tweaked it a little bit. And uh he's got one called Xbox Sex. Do you guys wanna no. do you guys wanna listen to the rap cod thing? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. okay. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> he already. Yeah, he sat there. You know, the video makes it better. Too. It you does. It's actually so teared up during it a little yeah. bit, and you can just hear his voice too. Oh, you're gonna do this whole little thing? Yeah. I'm just kidding, Wubby. This is really good. Oh, you know what else? I was give good up was, trying uh... to fucking even do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, give okay, up. So... I was working on the audio shit, yeah. but I'm fucking. I give up on that. It's well, so it's, uh, easy. It's called to be rap. So, I mean, you know, it's like, it's pretty. You actually like, not know how to do this. Mm -mm. On your, on your Go, you have a Go XLR, right? Nah, I'm not, I'm not even the, know, but uh... that software, I had Stalt walk me through that fucking software on like what little buttons to hit on the routing table. And I don't touch yeah. it now because it's the way that Stalt told me to set it up. You just go I'm to, not touching you buttons, just... dude. dude <laughs> where, where it says mic, where it says mic, you just press, you click music or whatever you're. Videos, no. yeah, not okay. really simple. No, it's yeah, it's fine. I All look right. at that shit like a okay. switchboard on old fucking like the you, you see those where like someone's calling and they're like, operator, I need to talk to, and the person takes stuff there yeah. and moves it over and like it's like that job I'd never be able to have. First of all, because oh, yeah, I try to put much. my cock in one of those little electric holes the and holes. I know there's voltage running through that shit, but yeah, I wouldn't be I the voltage not voltage the routing table's all fucked up. There's too many options there. Hold on a second. I'm going to go get a, a Coke real quick. It's, it's one. Jesus it's, Christ. You're already down that guy. first one. So, Poop, I heard you were pretty excited about the Bill Cosby news. He uh, he got uh, away. On a happened? technicality, right? He, he, yeah, he won. In the end, Poop, you said you prayed by your bedside every day saying, please free my man. I'm senile anyways. This joke's yeah. so funny. Poop, you said <laughs> the worst thing ever. You remember <laughs> he that? Didn't remember when you <laughs> said that, Poop? Because you wouldn't say that. Remember when you said well, you that? Don't, wait, you actually don't know what happened, Poop? <laughs> no, I saw he's like he, freed. Yeah, because uh, basically, uh, was it? it was considered like they... Um, 
entrapped them, like not entrapment, but they basically made him admit to being guilty or something and use that against them. Some shit. Was like it that, that or did they tr him? try his character? Is what I heard. It's, it was uh, some no. shit. I don't know. It was weird. His character from what the, the show. What the fuck does that even mean? Try his character. Like what else He's are you trying? Uh, so they tried was, my okay. character. They didn't try the crime. Like what is I think that? what it was was there was only one account that he was going to be guilty for, and they used like a million, like all the other people he raped, like fucking like forty other testimonies uh -huh. and they use that to build a case against them so i think that's why it's trying against his character because he only one person is suing him or putting him on trial and they use like 20 different people from like that are past the statute of limita uh, limitations mm. that's He's why just... that's the that's the mumbo jumbo but he got away basically is what him and oj are gonna be just having a ball <laughs> yeah. out on the streets <laughs> i rape him you kill him probably OJ. gonna that's get out too if that shit the... works uh, right? i thought oj was in, Harvey? in prison no, that's OG what I'm Simpson? saying. They're no. they're gonna go out for lunch a, together. OJ has a Twitter. He tweets. There's a he blocks everybody that. Uh, yeah. If you, by the way, if you mention anything about like his case, him. he There's blocks a, them so quick. It's, it's yeah, very interesting. Like I, you'd think that'd be like honestly like a lot of work. Like all the people that tweet at you, like oh you killed somebody, block block block. Like that's. After a while, you know, you kind of, wouldn't you just let it go? Just stop being I on saw Twitter, a, yeah. There's a pretty good, like, pro-vaccine skit that was, like, a bunch of celebrities. You know, they celebrities always do that cheesy <laughs> shit where they're like, oh, we're in God. this together. Like, yeah. we've got this. Like, get the shot. And it's, like, a bunch yeah. of, like, comedians. They're like, go out there and, like, do it. And then it's, like, a puppet of OJ. And he's like, yeah, like, go get the shot. It's just a little blood. Like, I ain't blood as yeah. much as the next guy. Like, go get your shot. And then afterwards, yeah. everyone's like... <laughs> what, 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 is, what is he doing here and it just keeps going and he, yeah. it's like yeah i don't know it's funny and i just that's the only line i remember stupid stupid i shouldn't <laughs> have brought it up i don't even know how to find it to link it oh god okay. uh what's the, what's the i just recently you got vaccinated got any, you guys got any um anecdotes or something this might be, yeah, the, this might be the worst fucking no, podcast we have ever done. You can't done. say that. No, you can't you can't say that say every that. fucking time. So <laughs> this is not the worst podcast we've ever done. I brought all your energies down the mine. This is the worst, worst podcast ever. so far. Yeah, yeah. Uh, There's no, still plenty of There's horrible things we can do. There's been many that have been fucking scrapped. Yeah. Did that uh, one with Jimmy ever happen? Or Yeah, yeah, we did one with Jimmy. Yeah, but it just got... Well, well, it's already come a healthy true. life. A yeah, healthy I long actually, life. Fuck. I wished yesterday <laughs> that Poob would get some sort of venereal crud. infection or something. Yeah. yeah, some sort of crud in his system. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. This is so good. Yeah, he got the oh, Yeah. So, so that excited. one would be the worst, he, right? We'll have him back. Yeah. We'll have him back I eventually. Know. I think the worst ones are all the solo Sam ones ever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. I hate hey, those. so what made you go from solo to like? I never got that. Uh, like, what made the what made you go from solo to like having uh, the co-host? No, well, no, no. I'm just, I'm just interested. Out, cut his mic. Well, when I did, when I did the solo <laughs> stuff, they they took a lot of writing because I'd have to come up with stuff. Yeah. And then, uh, and then I was like, hey, if I get some employees, some co-hosts, they'll like help come up with things to talk about. And they never do. Where, we, boy, were you now wrong? Now it's just three just, people just that. Yeah. It's three people that show up and have nothing to talk about. Is what it is. Ninety nine percent of the time. And Brian's about to say, but I came in with a flashlight that I waved around for I, yeah, 14 I, seconds. I waved, that was that. I, I 14 seconds 14 of flashlight. seconds of copyrighted death metal. And <laughs> that's the Doom theme. That's so not copyrighted. <laughs> the, that intro is going to be muted and blurred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just going to be nothing. Yeah. It's, yeah, uh, it's going to be a blob. Of it would have been better. Watching, like... <laughs> All I'm saying is if I had a wide angle lens. It would have been a lot better because I would have gotten the floor. Mm -hmm. I would have been able to, you know, really stomp on it. You know what I mean? Like it's. Oh, is, you know, is that you? Get a couple yeah. company that... sponsored handmaidens. I could clean up yeah. this backdrop a little bit. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I should... yeah. And Brian, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I think about ideas and topics. Yeah. You know, a clean space is a clean mind. Exactly. Yeah, the feng shui in here stinks. <laughs> Uh, I can almost smell it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it stinks so bad. I Which, can by the smell way, it. I think there's like we we're discussing this where you're going. I think there's like maggots in your in the bottom yeah. right hand corner. Isn't that like a pile of maggots over there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I just keep my eyes forward. That's like my, my philosophy I only for look life up. too. <laughs> look forward yeah. and up. Yep. No clean one will. Clean ceiling. <laughs> food. Yeah. Clean yeah. life. Yeah. <laughs> you should, <laughs> you should put like a piece of food on up. the ground. You should put a piece of food on the ground, reach for it in the background, and just grab it and eat it. Make it look like you're eating the oh, maggots. Yeah, I need like a little like <laughs> a green <Matata>. stool, <laughs> yeah. like a green desk right here that I can yeah. put something on and just oh, go. Yeah. Oh, look at pizza. <laughs> yeah. Or just like a dead rat right there, and I'll just like, yeah. and slurp down its tail yeah, like its spaghetti. Tail's hanging out of your yeah. Mouth, yeah. yeah. Set up the corner of your mouth and you're. Just... <laughs> I, I bite into it and I blood splatters everywhere and I immediately throw up and I get some horrible, horrible disease. Um, That'd be so funny. <laughs> be worth it, yeah. What's that shit? What was it? Fucking uh, that stupid Adam Sandler movie, fucking where you projectile vomits that you were talking about for like thirty minutes. Let's not talk about Hub that on the. Hubie. Let's not talk about Hubie Halloween. <laughs> you don't want to talk about Hubie Halloween. That, by the way. You did watch it. Yeah. Uh, what you yeah, think? What do you it was so forgettable. But mm -hmm. why did everybody hate that guy? I don't understand. Like, everybody just... Because he's retarded. I mean... Yeah. He, that's, that's what was really fucked up about it. But he was it. a sweetheart. Well, you haven't even seen the movie. Don't talk on it. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> talking know. about the trailer. It's I just this man yeah, with, the like... the parts. He's wearing, like, a quarter-pointed helmet riding down the, the sidewalk with his fucking bike, and everybody's throwing garbage at him, and, like, eggs and stuff. Yeah. Well, it's like, yeah, it's like a, I, oh, I remember now. It's a, a Halloween tradition because he's always the like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to egg everybody. I'm going to protect the town. And they make it like a tradition to try to like scare him every year Oh, and like oh, yeah. freak him out so and mess with him. throwing eggs at him is the... No, they also While just want to kill him. While he's riding a bicycle, <laughs> yeah. you know. They want to like kill him too because they're like, God damn it, get this fucking <laughs> out of here. This goddamn and mentally handicapped piece of shit. No, he's not. He's not mentally handicapped. He just has what a funny he? voice. That's Did Adam Sandler write that movie? He's Probably. got. He's got a dental mirror duct taped on his helmet. Of course, he's got. What? Is, that's yeah. a great idea. <laughs> so you can okay. see eggs. How do you think he catches every egg in his thermos? Wait, okay, wait, 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 he's, wait, wait, he's, he's, he's suffering from autism. Yeah. That's why. Yeah, I think I remember man. why he made this movie. I think I remember he why. He he didn't get the award for Uncut Gems, oh, which was yeah. a great movie. It was a great Stanley so movie. Full... And he said, you know what? If I don't get the award, I'm going to make the worst movie ever. And well, he failed at that favorite. because he made, yeah. he made a, it's better than a couple of his other Netflix originals. I don't know. Well, well, what's better, better than that? Yeah, it's, like movie, a year, it's like a year old. Not, no, it's Game Night's a great movie. It's better than what's a game over or something. It's one with Jennifer Aniston. Couldn't even get like 20 minutes into it. It was shot weird. But no, Murder Mystery. Uh, it was, murder that was mystery. well done with Jennifer Aniston. Okay, well, it was shot like a it YouTube was, video was, and I could only watch like 20 boom. minutes of it. Hubie Halloween is shot like. Kind like of like it's made Michael for Bay. Dolby. It's made for IMAX. It's made for Dolby Sound O Vision. It's made for Smell O Vision. It's. Kind of got like all the elements of a great Adam Sandler movie. Funny voice, hot girl, idiot, town idiot. You know how like people aren't supposed to relate to the Joker and shit in those movies. You're not, You're not supposed, supposed to relate, to, relate to, to Hubie. Yeah. You're not supposed to relate to fucking relate Hubie. To him. He's Halloween. a sympathetic kind of god. Level. <laughs> You're trying to say that he's a genius. He's he has, like, like Omega mirrors, level. Like no, he's, he, you have not watched the movie. The things <laughs> he can do with his thermos, the way he saves the town. It's got okay. a grappling hook. It's he's got. Teleported. He's got like this. He can sling it out like a scorpion claw and like get over here, pull it back to him. He's one okay. step he's away from a, calling him a sigma male. He's like he's the ultimate yeah, sigma, sigma male. Yeah, sigma yeah. Male. I was gonna say Omega level like mutant, but he's <laughs> oh, yeah. he's. he's, he's like Do you want to be Hubie Halloween? Balance, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we don't. Would we don't. Like? We don't need to talk about this movie anymore. You guys don't okay. get it. You haven't seen it. No, I'm What's gonna... your favorite Adam Sandler movies? Omid? None of them. Uncut Gems, like I said. Well, that yeah. doesn't really count. That's just like a good it's movie. It's so good. But it's, it's not like directed by Adam it's Sandler. A good movie. <laughs> no, but it's yeah. not an Adam Sandler movie. It's made it by is. the director of Good oh, Times. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's, it's so written by like an actual movie? good director. Yeah. It, Water Adam Boy Sandler, was a Happy great. Madison okay. production. How about that? Waterboy was a better version of Hubie Halloween. Okay. You, you have a watered down version. Oh wait, I, I remember. It's called. I remember Fis uh, Fifty First Dates with Drew oh, Barrymore. Yeah, a, oh yeah, yeah that's an airplane that movie. A movie. Yeah, it's yeah, a very sinister ending. Singer, all those. Yeah, where he's like, 
I've got you on a boat and you're like, you're mine now. You're my wife. Yeah. You don't he's remember like, anything. You never will. Yeah. He told everybody on the island. He's like, yeah. So anyways, I married this lady that forgets everything that happens during yeah. the day. And I'm going to go take her by myself on a boat in the middle of the ocean. Uh, and, 20, and you guys $20 will have no you can oversight with. on what I'm doing during the day. <laughs> and the it's like, and uh, oh I'm a billionaire. And uh, you really, really, yeah. really yeah. love me. And, uh, and uh, that's my cock used right. to be bigger. It shrunk in a horrifying <laughs> accident but. you know what that is uh, that is the opposite of that memento bit that you guys were talking about uh where the guy <laughs> he's having sex and he forgets every 30 seconds yeah, yeah. she's yeah. forgetting every yeah, fucking like forgetting. Two minutes. she's like oh what what, what, what are we doing here what is she's it? just lying down in the back yeah. she's like what the fuck's happening yeah he's like screaming like, well dude. or she's just down there like, she just like gets a hold of her senses. There's just <laughs> giant dick and balls in front of her, and he's like looking up expectantly, like you, you promise. Oh, uh, Mr. Deeds for the class. I just got you. I just, I just was down there for thirty minutes. Oh, Come the on. ridiculous six honestly had like three. You know funny those parts tattoos. You know that on Memento, he has those tattoos. Like he just has. Yeah. He checks his arm. It's just like it says, "Stop fucking her." Like you need. Yeah. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to stop. Yeah. <laughs> He, he pulls he out, he two pulls hours. out the Polaroid, and the Polaroid's just a picture of the lady, and it's like yeah. has a date on it, like four years earlier, and it's like <laughs> stop, yeah. like you need she, to yeah. stop. She's been dead for five years. Yeah. <laughs> this is Something not okay. This is your sister. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. oh God. Yeah, that that movie is yeah. great though. Have you seen the shitty versions of those movies? They have shitty versions of these movies. Um, Other than people the try to copy release. that. They copy yeah. the the formula where they just get like, like they do like goofy buddy movies kind of where they just fucking. Oh no! Dude, what? I saw a watered down Jackass the other day. I I can't remember what the fucking name of the movie was, but it was it was. Did, did, sorry. Go. Well, what do you see? Mean? They're making a new Jackass. Not a watered down. No, jackass. they're making a new Jackass. What Are the they? Fuck? Aren't they like they're, all old? And one of them's so, dead. Like they're, gonna, they're going to die during. Stevie this. is the only one that could probably survive. That's just because of like previous like evidence that uh, he can survive. The, the trailer drops in yeah. eight days, and they no have like shit. a sneak peek, and it looks like it's Jack a lot more four. just like gross things happening. It's called Jackass Forever, I think. Yeah, Jackass Forever. <laughs> I, I really hope they have like. They just have like little squires that they that they, they should, send yeah. out. Or Steve was just like, "All right, get on there." And he just <laughs> they choose the, they choose their protege yeah, or something. Yeah, they, They're yeah. like, well, "You have to win this. You Don't be a to. pussy." You are the yeah. next generation of jackass. It'd be so hard to recreate the like group though from like the OG jackass stuff. But also, it's like, who wants to do a lot of that stuff? Yeah. Like, I don't know. You have to pay me a fuck ton to just, like, do Maybe. any of the things they do, really. Wait, what the... Wait. Wh I feel like they YouTube's kind of wiped out the the whole point of... Yeah, like, yeah I, a little bit. I don't bit, think that could happen again. Not as, wait, this trailer has Ryan Dunn in it. He's dead. When? Maybe they recorded some of it a while ago, like a long they time ago. They play with his Maybe dead body? Gonna, what like, the hell? Uh, uh, Maybe that's, like, lost footage also. Maybe. Like a CGI or a hologram. <laughs> like a claymation. Yeah, yeah like so they claymation. Make, they Maybe make, they can get a little claymation in there. They have Ryan Dunn's dead body on like marionette strings and they make <laughs> yeah. him do the. Look, Ryan Dunn's the crazy gonna shit. To, right. He's, he's going to try to this crane with his body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they make him do all Christ. the horrible stuff. Look yeah. how much cow shit Ryan Dunn can eat. And they're just <laughs> yeah, it did. shoving oh, it down his fucking mouth. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. Right, that's gonna defuse this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's God horrible. Rest God rest him. Yeah, he was oh. a good guy. I think he was like the only awesome. likable jackass, wasn't he? No. So he, no? he was. He was just the jack. You say he was the only likable jackass? Mm -hmm. What about Wee Man? What about Steve O? You know? I don't care for midgets. Uh, Steve O's got a weird voice. <laughs> hey man, it's me, Steve O. Yeah. That doesn't mean you have to dislike him. Yeah, what about is. dislike uh, him just because of the voice? What about Johnny Knoxville? What do you dislike about him? He's a silver fox now. Yeah, he is. And he it? made the movie The Ringer, which is the best movie of all time. <laughs> yes. I forgot about oh, The Ringer. God. Yeah. I found, I think I found Poop's thing. He likes to act like uh, holier than thou and Mr. Moral Fiber. You, but love, he you loves love throwing out holier than thou. You, yeah. That is your favorite phrase. No, when referring to you, oh, yeah, God. it is. 
But he likes Why? to watch because movies that prey on handicapped people to be there. Well, yeah, I was I was also yeah, very much joking destroyed. about The Ringer being a good movie. You I would brought it up several kid, times. You, you, yeah. Because it's like laughably bad and it's <laughs> aged maybe the worst out of any movie I've seen. <laughs> it hasn't aged well at all. Yeah. yeah. But not like Hubie Halloween. How do I act, oh, how, how do I act holier timeless. than that when I'm talking yep. about how I like Hubie Halloween? <sighs> Cause that guy no, 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 not in that instance, but like you're always just like, guys, that's not. Guys, ethical. let's not constantly yeah, talk about rape. Oh, I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to be an angel. Yeah. Guys, can we tone it down a little bit on just making rape. fun of special needs <laughs> people? Rape. I know, and, and you I, keep bringing but up, but you're the glorifying their movies where they make <laughs> fun of them. Make fun of them in that. <laughs> they, yeah, you haven't even seen the movie. It's got a really good lesson at the end. <laughs> what? Don't be retarded. I don't like. What's the lesson? Watch the movie. Maybe you'll figure it out for yourself. Maybe you're too <laughs> I, stupid to fucking I don't want to. I don't want to give Adam Sandler the money. Adam so, Sandler didn't make The Ringer. He didn't make that. No, movie. not The yeah. Ringer. I thought you were talking about the the lesson at the Hubie end of Hubie Halloween. Halloween. The lesson the end of Hubie Halloween is about the spirit of Halloween. Oh, okay. The lesson is and give Adam his award so he doesn't have to make a shitty movie and torture us all. Yeah, he's got a monologue yeah. at the end where he says that. Oh, really? Yeah, he actually 20, does. 20 he minutes goes, of runtime. Looks straight at the camera. like, you should have given me my say, fucking award. Breaking bamboo. <laughs> all right, guys. No, but seriously, I will never <laughs> yeah. make a movie like this again. <laughs> it's like, just what? Wow, he didn't even. Yeah, sore loser. Okay. Big deal. He made a great movie after. Win win <laughs> yeah, for me. Was... Two good movies in a row. <laughs> um. Oh man! Yeah. yeah, like what the fuck is the difference? You watch a lot of like, movies, boob. It's it's yeah, actually very impressive. I have impressive. a very sad life. I watch a lot of movies. I reference a lot of <laughs> yeah. media. I, I consume so. You know what? It's because I don't play video games much anymore. Instead, I just watch. I was also raised in a house much like this, uh, where they just put the TV in front of me and said, "This is your mom now. This is your dad now. <laughs> yeah. Watch yeah. movies." God. And I I've seen probably I don't know every movie by this point so yeah dude no, i would adam sandler was his dad i don't even I have anything watch in the movie. Oh, criterion sorry. collection or whatever the fuck's the criterion or collection? whatever it's called i don't even have any fancy movie cases i just have mm. fucking dvds loosely in vhs cases it's <laughs> oh okay but yeah, i would I've try to go and watch a movie dude pathetic. like all the classics and I'd be like, oh, this looks like like uh, Scarface. I'd be like, oh, this. I'd be like, maybe like thirteen or fourteen. I'd be like, oh wow, this looks great. I want to watch this. And then my dad would be like, I already watched it. <laughs> you can't watch this. I well, watched it. Watch. <laughs> we have, we have <laughs> a high find in it. Anything I've I watch, you yeah. absorb. Yeah, yeah. You've seen it because <laughs> I've seen it. You are me. <laughs> you are a direct, direct clone of me, son. <laughs> the <and> Godfather. <laughs> We don't need to watch it. Yeah, yeah, you're but fine. You're gonna love your, like, the forehead. Godfather too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I never like, watched what the that fuck's one. going yeah. on? <laughs> yeah. And my dad was the opposite. He would he would play movies that he loved, and he would he would do this thing where he'd like tap you on the shoulder and go like, "What? This is the good part." Fucking, yeah, look at the rape scene that's coming up. Yes, <laughs> that's where it was instilled in me from Cape, a young Cape age. Fear. Yeah. Let's watch Cape Fear yeah. again. Yeah, let's watch Cape again. Fear. Don't worry, I've, uh, well, I've cut out all the unimportant parts, and he just put the uh, De Niro roaming around the house and looking at people from the yeah. PowerPoint <laughs> yeah, like, presentation. <laughs> and, and Who's going to be that De guy? De Niro pressing himself on the, oh. on the 13-year-old, and then here's De Niro in the, under the car. And yeah, he cut out, it basically just kept all the good stuff in there. The 12 it's minute the movie. the context for this, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Not important. Not, Not important. important at all. Yeah. And I, might, Poop, I can see you my, doing that. My brother and I used to just watch a fuck ton of movies together. And also, I never had any, like, there was, you know, I never, they were never like, you can't watch this movie. It's rated R. Like, I was just kind of allowed to watch any of that stuff. So, mm. you can tell the difference much between more, reality. So yeah. Yeah. And then I, yeah, and I became a maniac, a monster. I became ultra yeah. violent. What was your first uh, with video games. rated R movie? Um, and this applies for you, I, me I, too. I remember Tenacious D in the Pick of Destiny. That's rated R. Yeah, I think. Oh. I well, I, I don't know. Like that one's not even like bad, really. But I remember watching that like with them, and they're like, "Hmm, should we? Can he watch this? Yeah, it's fine." I don't really remember like. You know, what's, what's the most gruesome, twosome movie you ever watched when you're a kid? 
I was just home alone a lot, so I just like watch anything that was on fucking TV. Mm-hmm. Porn, mainly. <laughs> Lots of that, yeah. Pain Olympics, stuff like that. Mm. So probably the first really rated X thing I ever watched was like Pain Olympics in like fifth or fourth grade. Is that that's the one where the guy just starts hacking off his penis There's with a, a lot hatchet, of stuff. right? Yeah, a, cu- a, a bunch guy of puts them. a yeah. fucking jar up his asshole and how do you okay. do that, dude? How do you just like get how a box and put your dick on a cutting board and go, I'm gonna cut this shit. I'm gonna take how it. It's do you just shoot fetish. yourself after? Like, what is your what is your deal? Like, how do you how does the brain? Lawless. What kind of drugs do you need to be on? Yeah. For those for Penis your brain to go drugs. cut off yeah. that dick. Like even meth. I feel like if you were on meth, that right, dick. you wouldn't do it. You still wouldn't do it. We need to know. we need to bring our drug correspondent on here and ask him what exactly. Because he, he's passed. Bizzle. What? Yeah. Drug, he, he, like, we always ask him, we're like, this guy, there's, here's a video of this guy doing some weird shit. What do you think he's <laughs> yeah. on? And Bizzle sits there and looks like he he's, like, he's obviously disassociated from the moment. So that's probably ketamine or something like that. Like, he always, yeah. Yeah. we just take a look at something. He's like, oh, I got a feeling yeah. that's what this is. And uh, uh dude, like that video of the guy in the gas station that was just like this, yeah, he's just like, yeah, and they're like knocking on the glass, and his eyes focus for like one I'm, second, and then he just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm me. trying to, I'm just trying to pay for my gas, sir, and he's just like this, save me, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> the guy, <laughs> he's like, sir, can you get me some, can you get me some cigarettes in the back, please? And he's just freaking he's out, like, out of it, yeah, oh. Uh, yeah, that was. I think he got fired. I don't know. Yeah. It was, uh, it's hard to find someone that works the night shift like that that probably doesn't do drugs. <laughs> yeah. He probably was like, "It's three yeah. a.m. I don't expect anybody to come by." <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And then he does. He did some ketamine, and then all of a sudden he sees them roll up, and he's like, "Oh, yeah." <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> yeah. Turn off the lights. How these lights work? Yeah. Oh, uh. yeah. He was out of it. Yeah, but uh, um, there's movies <laughs> and uh, what's the? I remember playing Conker's Bad Fur Day when I was a little kid on original Xbox and being like, "This is really violent." You guys ever play the Conker games? Wasn't it on N64? Uh, they had one on original Xbox as well. Oh, okay. My only bar is on like GTA San Andreas. I remember it was like, "Don't go in the strip club." I did. I remember the uh, Vice City and I'd fuck them cover too. had like a lady in a bikini on it. My mom was like, I don't know if you should have this. And God, I'm like, fuck, yeah. like, come on. Bitch, yeah. mom. God, I probably already talked about this on the podcast, but like my grandma would always be the one that would take me to GameStop. And my poor grandma, like my dad would be like, yeah, like it doesn't <laughs> matter. You can get like any game, you know, like it's just a video game. Like it's not going to be yeah. that violent or anything. And we go there, and there was this one fucking bitch that worked at the GameStop I'd go to for my entire childhood. He worked there. Just mega nerd. Mega fucking yeah. bitch. I always wanted to fucking kill him. So I'd go in there, and yeah. I'd try to buy, like, yeah. a GTA. And he'd be like, ma'am, you are aware that this oh game my. has yeah. nudity, yeah. sexual content, drugs. Like, and he'd read everything so yeah. slowly and, like, judge yeah. the shit out of my grandma the whole yep. time. She'd be like, there's... Uh, like, yeah, well, it's like the, his parents say it's fine. And I'm just like, God, yeah. like, what? Like, come yeah. on, motherfucker. Like, yeah. I'm trying. Like, I played yeah, the yeah. game before. You this. Fuck you. Yeah, that you happened wanted all some the time. digital yeah. pussy. Like, come on. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, God, I'm horny. I'm so goddamn <laughs> horny. I'm scared. You buy a hooker you in this game. I know. Get the game or I I'm take naughty. it out on the streets, my rage. What do you want, you know? You realize that nine out of ten people go out and kill after playing this game. Yeah. Um, there's like, a yeah, like, thirty minute rape scene in it. If you don't want to fucking it, sell games, to yeah, kids. it's Such they're fucking fuck jerks. Ass, they dude. literally get off screwing over like kids. That like, can't be policy. True. That cannot be policy for GameStop. They're going out of their way. There's no way that there's yeah, no, they, GameStop policy. <sighs> That is there to prevent them from selling a game. They have to like, tell you it's M rated. That's it. That's they don't it. have to go into detail. I yeah, had the so same thing. I now. went with my mom. I was, I was trying to get GTA 4 and uh, the one with Nico and all those guys. Uh, and I, I fucking went in. I was like, this is it. This is it. I'm going to get it. And he, she does the same setup. He does the same, yeah. like, 
There's my guy would even start in and, this. My guy would make stuff up. Yeah. He'd be like, "Ma'am, you can put your entire yeah. penis inside of yeah. a vagina yeah. in this there game." Is a, you can like, fuck prostitutes. You can like, yeah, control like, how you, he goes yeah. in and out. Like yeah. Yeah. you yeah. can yeah. wear There's... the people like a skin suit, and you can walk yeah. around, and you can do anything in this game, and your child will feel it on their body. They, yep. She's like, "Oh my god!" Like, you you, have to, so, you, you feed babies to sharks. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Like the things that you your do. Your kid will have a heart attack if he plays this game. Most like your kid will probably fucking die, and you'll be responsible legally. You no, know, it was oh, funny. Jesus. My mom used to screw me over because she uh, she got me Vice City on a computer. We had a shared computer at the time, and she fucking she knew like she knew it was an M rated game. But in order to get like she would want me to get off the computer, she'd watch me play the game, and she'll watch me do something stupid like steal a car or like run over a guy, and she would do this fake ass like. <gasps> Like gasp like that, like what did I just buy for you? And then immediately, like I was a little kid, I'm like, Mom, Mom, I swear I'll get off, I'll get off the game. It's not that bad. And I just, she tricked me like every fucking time. She would just pretend like she was shocked. Ugh. It was fucking bullshit, dude. Until, until I got big enough to realize, and then like eventually one day, like I was old enough to realize, like, she saw me like stabbing a dude, like a hooker or something, and she did the gas. I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking kill him. Whatever, it's a video game, <laughs> bitch. Kill you too, bitch. I, I, I like, yeah, I like, for me. I, like oh, double yeah. dead. I'm like, dude, I'm fucking killing this guy, and my playtime is for another thirty minutes, bitch. Back up. <laughs> yep. I did the same thing with and, uh, uh, yeah. Mafia Two uh, tutorial. Yeah. I would, you had fifteen minutes. You do as much as fucked up shit you could do in fifteen minutes. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah. one day, dude, I found that there's Playboys in the game. And I was like, yeah. 11, 12. And I was like, okay. You jerk off. <laughs> yeah. So instead of it being like, a, you know, I've had, at first I was like, <laughs> there's 12 minutes. I go to the gun store, get the biggest guns, and have a crazy standoff with the cops. And then, event, or like, or I'd get, like, I'd mod out my car and try to do the coolest jumps. But eventually it became speed running for certain magazines. Yeah. <laughs> 12 minutes oh well like uh, legitimate I, like playboy centerfolds like yeah, and I yeah, yeah my yeah. favorite centerfold <laughs> it was in the gas what station was... by uh fourth avenue <laughs> <laughs> i just uh, had to kill the guy behind the counter and then it was good to Darla. go i knew how to get to i'm not gonna lie police response time a... is three minutes i had three minutes to go <laughs> I was such a fucking little degenerate kid. Like when I was twelve, I fuck. I remember I would in GTA Four. I would run into the strip club and try to jerk off to the strip dances. Oh I swear to get in first person. I was like, Dude, "Whoa, look at this kid!" <laughs> I only did it once, and it was, and then I was like, "This sucks." <laughs> like, Even at that was, age, you're like, this "Yeah, is fucking I was like, lame." <laughs> I just ha I have the internet. I could just look it up on the Wii or something. Yeah. I'd yeah. cut out pictures of my teachers from the yearbook and tape them over the part of the screen where the stripper's oh, face yeah. should be. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you, would st you would stop jerking off every time the head would shift yeah. away to the side. You're like, go, go back, <laughs> go back. Yeah. <laughs> I, I could only, I could get one, yeah. like one stroke every 10 seconds if I was lucky. Yeah. Take me like four hours. You started yeah. edging at an early age. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Animalistic uh, blast. Uh, <laughs> I fucking my oh god, yeah, that, that, that girl read that tweet and she was like, I could not imagine you ever saying anything like this in real life. Yeah. I'm like, well, well, I <laughs> wouldn't probably like. I, it's why it's on Twitter. Uh, I remember, uh, the, the worst part about that fucking GameStop guy though is like, I knew him. Like, I'd go there all the time for years. I'm like, you don't like. What are you going to say that you've been fucking me over this whole time? You don't even know my name yet. Like, you don't remember me and my grandma that come here, yeah. like, once a week and you do this whole fucking shtick. Like, very clearly, it's okay in our house. Oh, God. I remember his face. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, one day, time. I'm going to... I'll get mine. Yeah, I'm looking at these Mafia his. 2 Playboy centerfold things, and they, they're they like... Hot? Nothing but torpedo tits back then. These things are just straight out. Yeah, no. They, I thought that's I how mean, they were. Yeah, for, they, for a minute. They made them different back then. <laughs> if it fucked up my, uh, what do you call it? I don't know. Perception, perception of, of it. Yeah. Yeah. At an unhealthy view of a. I have a, so I have a little, 60s view. Of, little of, me of, used of to like bodies. rush to go find this fucking lady with her weird bazoingas that go straight oh out. Oh my god. And he was like, "Hell yeah!" That uh, that no, one, I, mean, I wouldn't go for that one, but you know, we'll I, I I I talked about this I think before the podcast, but Omid, are you aware that I I think the lowest I ever did was I jerked off to Ivy on the character select screen of Soul Calibur Two. Hell yeah! And, the, and the worst part is, 
She's worst part is I. Titties. My mom busted in. Yeah, she, my mom oh, busted titties, in. I, and dude, I swear to God, I never showed it because this is before I had the camera. But I was like laying like this. Yeah. Like, actually, I'll show you on the bed. I no. Was, I, <laughs> I was laying like this, full on, like jerking off, and she busted in the room. And I, I this, I like, I rose like a fucking like the exorcist. It looked like this. It looked like this. It looked like this. God, mom's like, can't I just get this kid porn or something? Yeah. He's always jerking off to the weirdest <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> my fat and everything. I was I was a fat kid too. I was still a fat, and I was like, and I like I leaned like this, and I I was like hiding my boner like this with my like my stomach. Put it I was in like, your mouth to hide it. I, yeah, because apparently my 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 game was on really loud on my TV. So she's like, he turned on turned down the TV. The music was going. There was a reason for that. It was just the characters select like music, and I was like. Okay, okay, and I think she realized what what was going on, obviously, because I just oh, fucking no, dude. I, my fully erect penis was there, and I just like did this, and she just closed the door, and she left me alone. Yeah. Oh, she never, never talked to you. Never, never walked in like that again. I bet. At that yeah, point, no, she not. She's knocking. Yeah, was, she should have just got you like a nudie mag or something, so you didn't have to jerk off to all these insane things like yeah. GTA strippers and so <laughs> Yeah, and she yeah. slammed yeah. you under the door. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she comes got, back five minutes later, like yeah. fucking be normal. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just jerk off to yeah. flash Dude, drives. I got caught like three or four, five times probably. Jesus Christ! The first you time was four times? in a bathroom. Yeah, one, one one time I was in the bathroom and I was taking a shit. They were locked the door. Off. Yeah, no, dude. I didn't. I didn't because I it, it like it just like happened. Like I just had. I was like I suddenly you just didn't. Yeah, yeah I was like I just have to. I had just have to jerk. And I didn't have a. Fo this is before smartphones or anything. So I was just going off of memory of shit. Mm -hmm. And then she like she like archaic she fucking could never. She she was know, doing right? the laundry. She was doing the laundry and she like uh new towels for the bathroom. She came in to like put them in and I was like. Again, one of these. Okay, it never works, but she was like, oh, oh, I'm sorry. She just closed Jesus the door. Christ. You just thought you were a fucking jerk off monster. That's what you I, were. Well, but... yeah. nice. I mean, we I just had problems. Get, like, have you ever gone caught poop? No. I haven't either. And one time there was uh, Sam the definitely has. Look at his yeah, yeah. mom. She probably helped him. Yeah, for sure. All the time. Dude, all the time. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. How do you guys get caught? Uh, Wait, I, got, it... I got caught, like, doing stuff with Abby a bunch because oh, well, we realized yeah. that if we close the door then they're gonna be like what's going on back there the door's closed but they would only come check on us like once every couple hours or something or come back there if the door was open so we just fuck with the door open all the time yeah. Like, yeah, chances are they won't interrupt us and then also like I don't know I've told Brian this but one time I was fucking whacking off I'm talking like you know when you get into it you're like I'm completely fine mom's yeah. not gonna be home for four hours Mm -hmm. It's past lunchtime, yeah. so that I know nobody's coming home for lunch. So I'm golden do it in the kitchen. There is full, some shit. I'm full nude, oh, yeah. whacking off. You know, maybe feet spread up on the desk. One over here, one over here. Asshole <laughs> up in the air. I don't know. Yeah. You know, I'm just going to town. Yeah. I'm going to town, yeah. and yeah. all of a sudden, I realize right next to me there's some movement. And I fucking look over, and there's like this 16 year old woman <laughs> yeah. that is doing my termite bond for the house <laughs> and trying to act like she doesn't see this 15 year old kid violating violently his body. She's sitting there like spraying the window with fucking, yeah. and I'm like right there, and she's <laughs> trying to act like she doesn't see. She's like, oh, all right, I'm gone. And she's like, uh, yeah, yeah. And oh, I had, she look like, into her eyes and just, yeah, just, I, like, I just drew the curtains and i was like and i went and checked i was like fuck it's the termite people and then i went back yeah. to it it really it put a crimp in the action though for sure definitely yeah there's probably fucking steam on the windows maybe she didn't see you yeah it's <laughs> not how hard you were going yeah. Yeah. That, that like the titanic uh, <laughs> yeah. the, did the palm print down and everything yeah uh, now i think my lowest moment though when you were talking about the whole ivy thing from so by the way yeah. what a piece right but um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was too old for this at the time. But when Resident Evil Five came out, which I'm looking, I went and looked it up because I couldn't think of the fucking lady's name. <laughs> that came out in yeah, 2009. Like, I was in fucking yeah, high school. Cool. Yeah. And this uh, this game <laughs> comes out, and yeah. there's this lady Excella in the game. I know. Yeah, yeah, and I know what you're talking if about. If you like yeah, did something in game, you can unlock like a little figurine of them that you can zoom in on. You don't know yeah, how many times shit. I tried to like zoom in on this figurine and be like, let me get some of that side titty. Like there might be a nipple in there somewhere. 
Mm-hmm. And, Impossible. Yeah. And Holy I I shit. remember sitting there manipulating the joystick so I could get like a good under view and I was like fucking cranking off. I didn't even finish. Tweaking I was like the joysticks. Like halfway she through, I was like, boobs. what am yeah. I doing? <laughs> Like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. this is 2009. There's porn on the computer. Like, yeah. it's, there's oh, video yeah. right there. I need better Can you post heart, a man. picture of her? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Huh? Maybe her figure. And also, also Jill Valentine as well, because she had that, like, fucking latex skin suit or whatever mm-hmm. on in that game. That one was a pretty good one. Yeah. Though. Damn, dude. That's so funny. That was old enough to know better. See, for you guys, it was like finding that started like finding anything you could use and like you know remembering it oh yeah i feel like i don't know poop i had to just think of something to search i don't know if you had that but like i I had to it's i was really young like i probably i don't i don't even remember how young i was when i was like eight years old i was trying to find porn basically i didn't know the word to search up (laughs) yeah and yeah, I just was like, man and naked woman. shower, naked girl loves. shower, yeah. you know, naked like all that yeah. shit. Female penis <laughs> equivalency. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but girl no undies. Penis. Girl love. Any girl, girl penis. Any penis. Yeah. Any penis. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Accidentally find trap porn before you find yeah. actual yeah. porn. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, you'll grow up like that Bordisco guy that thought that all women had penises. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, I swear, I searched it up when I was a child. And there were so many. This is how a girl looks. Yeah. This is how a girl Whoa. looks right here. Girl, what's, where's your penis at? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus what? Christ, what happened to you? Yeah. What's wrong with it? Everything's gone. Some what sort of I horrible th- accident. <laughs> yeah. What God, happened did you have to penis you? cancer or something? <laughs> <laughs> Do you, uh, you ever have a friend watch porn in your house or something? Oh, God, I feel like I have a lot of friends that always talked about, like, how yeah, we watch porn or something. No, I, like, I don't know what it is. Like, me and my best friends are, I don't know, more modest or something. I would never in my life, like, never. watch porn I had a friend in the same room at my house. Someone. This is when I had, um, again, one computer. I had a friend that was sleeping over in my house, and he... Uh, he was gone for a while, like, I guess, because I, I went to sleep earlier than him, and the next day, like, I think after he left, I went on my computer, and he didn't, I think he deleted search history, but uh, when you delete your search history, it doesn't get rid of the actual search terms you wrote, oh. and I fuck, I swear to God, this guy had uh, Zelda hot and Fallout sexy. And I was oh, like, yeah. what the fuck? Mm. What do you get from mm. those results? Mm. Ghoul like, titties. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take some exactly. People, you know, much. Yeah, yeah. Zelda, Zelda yeah. hot and Fallout sexy. I was like, what the well, fuck? The and like, I was like, both those probably yeah. did it. I got this, uh, <laughs> yeah. I got this super Christian family down the road, and they have like, they have two teenage kids that are like, Wait, is it two your shoes. family or is it just a no, family? It's just a family. They're my friends oh, okay. down the road. And they have Friends. these, uh, yeah, believe it or not, I talk to my neighbors, yeah. Okay. Um, they have, like, this this uh, this kid that's probably, like, 11, I think, and they gave him, because of quarantine, they gave him a, um, a little laptop to work from home. And the dad Born is, like, Peter. the dad's an IT oh. guy, and he keeps track of, like, what they're looking at, right? And they he showed me his fucking, his, uh, his history... <laughs> His browser oh. history is the funniest shit in the world. He was sitting there like he was doing online classes for like four hours and solid work uh, work sesh. <laughs> and then all of a sudden he was just like, I can't take it anymore. And he goes to go- <laughs> one Google image search for boob. That's yeah. it. <laughs> Stayed yeah. there. Didn't do anything yeah. else. Just one boob. And then went back to online school for yeah. another fucking two and a half hours. <laughs> And I was like, dude, that kid yeah. knew he, he was just like, hey, you know, I need a little yeah. mind wipe real quick. Uh, yeah. Solid, all right. I a little see. treat, getting some work done. Yeah. yeah. I'm tired. I was like, please tell me. Like, I know these people are a little bit strict. I was like, tell me you didn't say anything to him. Just let him fucking, let him get boob in every once in a while. If yeah. you check up uh, again next time yeah. and he's looking up like double anal fisting. Yeah. yeah. Something yeah. Like, like weird religious stuff. Yeah, right now <laughs> it's yeah. fine. It's just... Virgin Mary pussy. Virgin yeah. Mary <laughs> pussy. Yeah. Virgin Mary yeah. gangbang. Oh, what? Yeah. But uh, Virgin Mary placenta. Just curious. Just want to know. That's, a, just, that's fucking just awesome. Just want to know though, if like, anyone took a picture of that back then. <laughs> they actually <laughs> drawing it. <laughs> what? what could it have looked like? <laughs> Uh, You're telling me there wasn't a painter there to capture that whole thing of the fatherless birth. 
they like were a flip book of it or something. Yeah, <laughs> right. They were, there's a there's a painting there somewhere. 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 We'll find a, it. Mary with her fucking her legs spread She's up and everything in stirrups. Fucking yeah. titty. Well, wait, how, uh, how old was she when this happened? I don't know anything about the Bible. Ma Mary? Yeah. Probably like Thir 14 30 or something. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's essentially Probably 20. The first wait, story right. of like being cucked, right? Like yeah, it's the I first cuckold. Yeah. Old. yeah. Or, I mean, but, you know, rel uh, religious laws. God, I hope, yeah, I, well, I, I take it back. If she, I don't want to see her placenta anymore. I'd like to redact that. <laughs> back, back, uh, circling back to the Adam Sandler thing, who do you think's a better comedy actor turned drama actor? Jim Carrey or Adam Sandler? Jim Carrey. Yeah. Um, I mean, Eternal yeah. Sunshine. More. I think he also has funnier so movies, sad. too. Uh, yeah. Nice. Well, he does. He doesn't have a Hubie Halloween under his collection, but he I mean, he's got some good ones. He does. He has uh, funnier movies. Though, yeah. He's got a. Uh, Ace Ventura is great. I, Ace Ventura is great. Yeah, I'd love a Ace Ventura Rush Hour crossover. Jackie Chan, Chris Tucker. That's a crossover that together. nobody has ever thought of once in their yeah. life. Your fucking mind is an yeah. enigma. <laughs> I mean, they're all from the same era, kind of. They're all they're from all the like same really good. universe, I feel like, too. Yeah. Yeah. No, there are. Yeah. And also, you guys ever watch How the would... uh, Shanghai Noon, Shanghai Nights? Yeah. Yeah. You, Shanghai Noon's way better than you Nights. Like the, what do you think's better, those or Rush Hour? You like seeing Jackie Chan with Owen Wilson more? Or are you more like seeing him uh, I, more Chris with uh, Chris, Chris Tucker? Tucker. I, Chris Tucker's way hilarious. Yeah, I like yeah, Chris yeah, Tucker's yeah. pretty. Well, you just like he's Fifth Element a lot. So. I fucking love that well, yeah, movie. That's a good movie. You're biased. You know what? I was. He's I, funnier. I was at I, a bar the other day and they were playing that movie. And it was like the beginning part, and I, it was driving me fucking insane. I was like, what movie? I, like, I know this movie. Like, it was the pyramid yeah. scene. I'm like, what the fuck's... But one of the, the girls I was with was like, yeah, you know this movie has a trope in it. She was like, oh, this is that movie, the, like, born yesterday, hot today trope. It's what a trope? thing. And I was, I was like, no. What is that? Like, it's basic. But then when she explained it, I was like, oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Like, it's a trope just about, like, in certain movies, people that are like have very childlike, like born yesterday, like you know, she's like fucking created or whatever. Yeah. And then they instantly make her like really hot. And then the protagonist has to like teach her about the world and then also falls in love with her, even though she's like a child mentally. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, no, it's not like that. And then I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it kind of is. Like, the fact that that just, even like, has a labeled name for a. Yeah. So yeah. Many of those? yeah, I like the name for it too. Like it it's good. Fit it born yesterday, hot today. Like it makes sense. Yeah, I was like, yeah, there are movies like that. Isn't that what Fifty First Dates is? Yeah, really? probably. She's, well, she's, she's not like a child. No, she's, she's like kind of an idiot because she doesn't know what's happening. She's not like a child mentally though. I think like her accident happened when she was adult, right? I don't fucking know. There's a power sure dynamic there. The movie, yeah. There is definitely There's a, a power yeah. dynamic. The, the the accident happened when she was a baby. That's why she talks in like cooing. The whole movie. She talks in Born. <laughs> oh, wait, it's called Born Sexy adult. Yesterday. <laughs> what? what? What's a famous example Edward, of that? Edward Scissorhands is apparently another example. He's very sexy. Like an Edward. Yeah. Like fucking himself. Fifth Element with the fucking orange. Fifth Element, I think, is like one of the really. Oh, apparently there is a movie, like a 1950 romance movie called Born Yesterday, and that's like where it comes from. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, there is a, a weird, uh, I guess, trope, so to speak, of like older dudes with younger women in Hollywood. Like the, like you don't see women in the the hot role in their fifties, but all the time with dudes. Like dudes will be. And there's so many women that could do it. Catherine Zeta Jones, for example. Yep. Catherine Zeta Jones. Except for she's kind of a bitch. But uh, there's yeah, well, there's good examples matter. out there. There's plenty of women out uh, there. Hubie Halloween. That's, I mean, yeah. there's that's definitely. Adam Sandler's a total son. <laughs> Why is that different? Because, because there's a power hero. dynamic there. He's older, there's but he's also no, but there, there's, mentally. There certainly is a, <laughs> not quite a lot this. of. I, I just saw something yesterday. It's like one of the James Bond actors. It was just like a blurb on Instagram. It was one of the older ones. It's like. He quit because they kept making all his co-star actresses like 20 years old and he was like nearing 60 or something. He was like, these people are the age of my granddaughter. This is super weird. <laughs> this is, yeah, I'm not instead, about of, 
instead of just like making the co-stars older, they just fired him and were like, like well, let's get, a, let's get, Tom get another Cruise. guy. All right, get somebody that let's can get actually another guy that's like it. cool with this. Yeah, is it, oh, was it Roger younger. Moore? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it, it doesn't be. matter. He was that the gayest Bond out there. <laughs> yeah. He, and I, what I, do you mean by that? Go listen to just his, he's very effeminate man. Go listen to him talk. Meanwhile, Sean Connery's the chair. Yeah, Sean Connery is fucking dope. One. He's he's the best one out of all of them. He's the he's the one who's like it was known know. for I, I really like saying like, hit women or something. I think Daniel and Craig's like, pretty good. He's good, but there was it's an not the same pizzazz. I know exactly which one you're talking about. Where he he, he this was in like the '90s. Sean Connery talked about like how he he Sean slapped Connery's women really around. Like, sla- yeah, yeah like, and some like lady like had an shit. interview. He's like, you said that you it's okay to hit women sometimes, and he fucking doubled down on it. Like, yeah, that was like later. 20 he's years like, later. Yeah, they have another he's interview. Like, She's like, <laughs> you know, back in like 1995, you said that you uh, sometimes women like to get hit, and you hit them to straighten them out. And he goes, yeah, my opinion on that hasn't changed. Yeah, my opinion on that hasn't changed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know what? And she was yeah, like, really... what the fuck? <laughs> like, she was very visibly upset. Yeah, some bitches needed a slapping. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. No one movie really sucked. That was a big disappointment, and I wish it was better that he was in mm-hmm. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Well, I was just talking about that movie. I actually liked that movie. That movie set out. I liked out... it when I was a kid, but then I it... kind of watched it later and was like, I don't know if I do like this. Movie. No, I, I like I like it one. because it's it. just ridiculous. Like it is, no, but isn't yeah. it like from a really good book or something or like really good comic series and everyone's yeah. like, God damn it. There was no way that was going to be adapted <laughs> well. It just can't be made into a good movie, I don't think. Yeah. I know it was as this, good as it could have possibly been. Oh, that was his last also... movie, wasn't it? Was, no yeah. way. Yeah, that was his last was movie. It? Yeah, either that or The Rock, which by the way is a fucking dope movie if you've ever seen that. Yeah. Really freaked out earlier. I was like, I wonder, man, Pip's been like too quiet. Like he's probably just tearing something up in the He's house. in the bottom of that probably pile. Under that pile no, yeah. I, I looked over and he's just sitting on my bed staring at me. <laughs> like complete eye contact, really freaky stuff. Mm. Oh, did you see fucking uh uh what's that guy's name? Mard. No, 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 no. Mart. Okay, you know how like all the billionaires are going up into space now? Like Jeff Bezos oh, yeah. stepped down oh, yeah, from yeah, yeah, Amazon yeah. and then down. and Elon Musk is like, I wanna become like a feudal lord on Mars. Um now yeah. uh, the, the guy from Virgin Virgin Mobile or whatever, the Virgin oh, Enterprise the, Atlantic. Got the white hair. Yeah, the... R- Richard Branson. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, yeah. I went up into space. Like I didn't even know they had a space program. I went and watched the video. Have you seen it? It's like the funniest thing in the world. They just no. They get like this giant two propellered plane and they fly really high up in the air. And then his, then it has like a center plane that drops off and then just oh, like, just like experiencing zero, like zero gravity, right? Like, no, no, it, it just drops down and then a jet fires off and it that way he's saving jet oh. fuel. He doesn't have to launch I'm from the surface. This, yeah. And they Starting just, a neutral uh, yeah. it just like launches up into space. And then, like, floats back down and, like, falls. And he's just like, yeah, so we went to space. I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> like, you kind of just, like, flew yeah. and then just, like, used $4 worth of jet fuel to, like, go up into the stratosphere for a second. <laughs> Fuck it. What a cheap yeah. thing. Go back, go back. I'm sure that fucking Red Bull guy that strapped himself yeah. to a weather yeah. balloon went way higher than that. Like, yeah. he was, Dude, uh, it was pretty uh, Imagine, pathetic. like, they were supposed to go. Like, they were supposed to go higher. And he's like, go back, go back. I don't want to go anymore. <laughs> Right now, yeah. they're like, "Sir, uh, uh, please." The trajectory. <laughs> Get us the fuck back down. I don't want to be up there. Uh, cut the engines. Cut the engines. Uh, I I get like you know when the planet dies, wanting to escape and stuff. But it's like right now, wouldn't it just be so goddamn boring to go in space and for like ten minutes? You'd be like, "Whoa, like, Whoa. look at the planet. It's so cool." And then you'd be like, "There's nothing. Like there's nothing. There can be so little to do." I mean, as much as you can fit on your spaceship to do, I guess. Yeah. And if you make it to the International Space Station, well, the, the whole point and... is, is that if you wait until you the planet's dying, you don't. What, I you're know, literally like, gonna be sent out to space into nothing. Like you need to start building I know, stuff they earlier. Start doing, but even yeah. when they build shit, it's just gonna be so goddamn boring. Like it just sucks. walking around yeah. hallways. <laughs> International Space Station is go, literally well, a double wide. Again. Like, have yeah, you seen like, the inside of that yeah. fucking thing? They act like, like it's so cool. And they're like, it's a double wide with a lot of Velcro in it. That's all it is. 
They need to be you spending know. some money to save them. this fucking planet. I yeah, like instead of uh, and shit. sending like that shit parts. up, they could have like probably put all that money to fixing shit that's already here. Yeah. You know, buy us time for science to like figure yeah. out how no, we no, can what, colonize one of these all fucking I'm saying is planets. The destruction. I want like I don't want half measures. Like if you're gonna have an international space station. Go yeah, all make in. It pimp. I'm talking. Yeah, do, make it burn shit. down the Amazon forest. Do whatever you need to do in order to make <laughs> a cool space station. But if you're yeah. gonna not make a cool one where it has like the spinning disc that then simulate gravity by centrifugal force or whatever, mm. I'm not gonna do all that. That's, is that that's not real? That's some fake. No, shit. that's not fake. It's it's fake gravity, it? but it would work. Yeah, yeah. it's in movies and shows. It's in Brian. movies, dude. It's okay. 2001: right, Space okay. Odyssey wouldn't lie to us. Yeah. Okay. If they're not gonna do that, then just don't even do Gotta it. Don't pong. do that stupid box up there. Nobody cares yeah, about the box. It's like, oh, I hit a golf ball far. <laughs> what? Fuck you. I want, <laughs> I want like uh, cooler shit, dude. I, uh, God, I wish we just had a planet. I want handmaidens. I wish on we my had like a cool Earth-like planet in our little fucking <laughs> earth close two. to us that we could get. Yeah, Earth 2, I wish, was if just around. only there around. was an Earth yeah. around that All we could take care of. All these fucking planets and, like, anywhere close, fathomably, is just so fucking they suck. boring. Yeah. Oh, you go here, you die instantly. Oh, it's all made of gas. Go oh, to Mars. It looks like Utah. Always. Yeah, Mars. <laughs> go fucking, nobody like, goes to Utah. They're like, let's get on Mars. Let's do shit there. Oh. Yeah. God, it's so fucking boring looking. <laughs> it does look like shit. Utah is like oh, 12 is... hours from me. No, yeah, Utah is pretty. Utah is better Utah than is Mars, really pretty and parts. people still don't go to it. They people go there, go they go to vacation a little people bit, but no, people don't go there to live. To hike. Well, the Mormons really took up there. all the homes, but uh, yeah. the, we should the send all the Mormons to Mars. Beautiful. They would love it there. They, they would love it. Love it. Yeah. They would love it. They go crazy. Yeah, and they could yeah, come up with some new crazy place. bullshit yeah, about Jesus how like was on Mars, Mars actually, or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there, there, we found another tablet. Or yeah, something. I stumbled across a Martian tablet that says polygamy is actually cool again. We should get stuck on that. Everyone should be fucking everyone. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! It just it says Jesus colon lower the age of consent. Yeah. What the Come on, me, guys. What is, what? <laughs> yeah, Mormons fucking, fucking suck, psychos, fuck dude. You. Yeah, fuck those. Wow, another before that, the Mormons were probably listening and going like, "Yeah, we probably would." Fuck you, Mormons, <laughs> dumb bitch. Uh, yeah, fuck Mars too. I don't know, boring, boring as yeah. shit. We can make well, grow some potatoes. Cool. Yeah. You know, good luck. I, I read The Martian or whatever. <laughs> I watched the movie. Don't they have water or something? Or they heard like frozen, frozen, frozen water. Frozen water, frozen yeah, water, shit. water yeah. down below. Yeah, or something. Doesn't matter. And there's little crab people that live there. And they blend little, in like, with the red monkeys. soil. Yeah. Yeah. Little red monkeys and little red crab people, and they have a war going on. Yeah. The cool. Coolest thing Goblin. anybody's done Goals. on Mars yeah. is uh, draw a dick, I think, with a rover. Yeah, that's that's that, about that's it. Pretty sweet. What if they? What if they took a picture and they saw a goblin or a ghost? Would we still <laughs> yeah, go just, there? Like a if little tiny saw, speck like this. We just saw <laughs> just a frozen. ghost somehow. Like, would people still want to go? Like, just the first <laughs> yeah, ever confirmed. Like, and it's like in a little fucking <laughs> yeah. white thing, and it's. And yeah. it's spooky looking, kind of, but like in a Halloween way. Yeah. Would we still go there? <laughs> I don't think people want to go there look, now, dude. Or like, what, if, what if like beyond that, like just no life forms or anything, but they're just the Mars rover comes across like a Dollar General. Just completely <laughs> empty. Yeah, it's completely Pristine. Forced. Has yeah. the branding and everything. Dollar General, yeah. like the stock <laughs> price immediately goes up. Yeah. And they're like, dude, yeah. we had nothing to do with this. <laughs> well, yeah, this we is don't the know. weirdest thing. <laughs> That's yeah, what they do. They, like, uh, all those <laughs> astronauts put a shitload of options on like a brand and then they like stitch it in somewhere like mm -hmm. on, a, on a rock and they're like whoa look at this guy <laughs> look at this whoa. and the twitter like, just goes God. fucking all over and uh, the, the stock goes up and they're just selling yeah. and they're like Only we don't fans. have to be up here on this fuck ass rock anymore yeah. uh. we buy gold fucking pawn shop <laughs> there with a goblin behind the register yeah. man what would you what are you gonna do yeah. I don't know, I'd be, maybe i would go there uh a big worm, a big dune worm, or something. A big dune worm, <laughs> dude. That movie looks just... so tight. I can't wait until that yeah. comes out. You are, you've been talking about this shit, that like shit every up. day. No man, that, Not the, the, the fucking planet. sexy wormhole. It's like 
exterior sphincter yeah. at the end of the trailer. That, and that, that Timothy Chalamet's wormhole. Yeah. He's got such an awesome last name, Oscar too. Oscar Chalamet. It's probably a stage name fucking poser. Yeah. His last name's probably something stupid like Sh- Chalmet. Grumbus. <laughs> I'll probably watch Ch- Chalney. Yeah. <laughs> Some fucking dumb. Yeah. Doesn't sound as pretty. There are a lot of pretty I, people in that movie, though. I am excited to yeah. see it. And it looks good. That's it's all made you, by the you care what about? director? Is it made by the Blade Runner director? Yeah, it is. Uh, Villeneuve or whatever his name is. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be dope. And, and the uh, La La Land Whiplash director is making a new movie with like Brad Pitt, Tobey Maguire, and like other people. And I'm, you know, <laughs> he's made nothing but hits. Yeah. So Toby Maguire or No, the director that made Lava <laughs> oh, yeah. Land and Whiplash. You don't, you don't you don't go see movies based on actors, you see it based off directors. Well, I'd see a movie if it had Toby Maguire in it. Probably. I know you would. Or Adam Sandler, <laughs> we learned. But I won't get into all that. What what the I fuck wish... has Toby Maguire been doing? Getting I, probably I fucking Spider-Man laid and paid too. and sucked. All right. He's getting, he's doing whatever, <laughs> whatever he fucked, wants. Yeah. Gambling up in weird circles. You see that movie Molly's Game? Yeah, actually, I no. did. That's the one movie that, so far that I've seen. That is a good movie. I really movie. didn't watch enough movies coming into this <laughs> podcast. That, that you know is what's a good funny movie. Is it, and, right? It was Stalt's Wait, on, always like, you, you know, guys just start on. talking about movies. And he, because yeah. talk- Stalt m- looks at like, off. he just looks at um, trans porn all day. I don't know what the fuck he does. He doesn't watch movies. Yeah. Trans porners. Yeah. Toby uh, McGuire Toby McGuire was in Boss Baby? Huh? That's his last like movie. Is in Boston. Yeah, Damn, that's pretty Boston. cool. What is that? I was Gotta go yeah, back yeah. and watch it back, dude. Holy um, shit. Tommy McGuire. Omid, did you what? know? I mean, it's a pretty known fun fact. But Mike, you know Michael Sarah's character in that movie. In Molly's game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like supposed to be Toby McGuire. In real no life. way. Yeah, like he was in, oh, like, involved in like intense underground gambling shit and was that's apparently so just a believable, monster. That's so believable, actually. And, like, Wait, really? Like, Sam, shit, that it. makes like, so much sense. He like would talk about like he just wanted to win just to like destroy other people, basically. Like he's like, I don't give a <laughs> shit about the money. Like I just want to see them lose. And all Toby McGuire's yeah, like that. And one of the guys <laughs> also in the movie, in real life, they're like. Yeah, like yeah. it's based on a real it's that's based brutal. on a real event, but they like change all the people's names and stuff. And one of the characters that's always wearing earbuds is supposed to be Leonardo DiCaprio. Like apparently he'd always go to these high stakes poker games, but he'd listen to music the entire time and never talk to anyone. And would just <laughs> like, like fucking sit there and, like, baby driver. Like you'd yeah, you'd just fucking gamble. Or you'd just play poker. He doesn't but seem like a very personable guy from what but I've Toby seen. Toby Maguire was apparently just like ruthless. And he was really good too. I I like that. I like right, him right. more now. Before he was always like that guy in in it's fucking cider house. Really like like it. Fucking dick. Yeah. That's well, it. I, I like him. Well, maybe he's only a dickhead in in that scenario. Maybe he's just a wholesome ass guy. Uh, <laughs> really I don't know wholesome. about that. That's that's his I'll, outlet, I'll, is what you're saying, Ryan? Like just yeah, destroying yeah, exactly. people financially in poker. Yeah, yeah you they know? knew what yeah. they were getting into when they stepped <laughs> yeah. in the ring with Toby. He's like, I'm gonna <laughs> fuck Spider you up Man. He's like, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna God damn, I'm gonna tear your head off. <laughs> I'm gonna take your wife and your kids in the fucking yeah. back. Yeah, yeah you're. Yeah. It's the little, it's the um, poor guy from The Great Gatsby, and he's just like, yeah. Yeah. dude, I loved you in all those movies. Dude, you're like yeah. my childhood here. I loved you in the Spider Man. Yeah. yeah, you're about to get it. Bro. You're about to. <laughs> That's right. That's you're gonna right. put your wife's holes on this table that's how soon, bitch. That role is you beat Leonardo DiCaprio. He's like, you make me co-star. You make me fucking co-star in that movie. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Poker's cool. Mars uh, is. I've, I've not never learned cool. poker. Because... <laughs> Sum this one up. To some way. I wish we could just blow the shit out of all the other planets and the, like poker fucking send cool. a bomb and just see what happens. Mars not cool. Yeah. Shoot a bomb at Venus or something. I don't know. Nothing would happen, but shoot a bomb at it'd Venus. be like ridiculously hard to do, but I don't know. I feel like what that would, wouldn't sh- that fuck up our orbit, you know, if we blow up a big <laughs> planet Venus. that we're kind uh, let's of let's start shooting shit at the sun. Need. Yeah, we should do like that. Like water balloons, big water balloons, see if we can cool her down a little bit. Thing. Yeah. yeah, it's cooler down. Out it's it's cooler down. <laughs> shoot a big old water gun right at the sun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
it's, even the biggest the thing you could possibly Earth. ever conjure would be so inconsequential. Would, against yeah. the yeah, would, yeah. I was about to say, like, you, you can make yeah. the biggest water balloon ever, but even if you just <laughs> threw Earth at the sun, oh, it would do nothing. I, it, a yeah. beam of water, made like, like a continent yeah. large, just like ah, yeah. it. imagine the guy when, driving it into it. He's like, oh, I'm gonna save it all. What movie is that? Armageddon? No, what, Independence what Day. <laughs> they drive into uh, the sun. No, Independence Day. Oh, I thought you were talking about where he drives up yeah. through the beam yeah. into the no, ship. No, but there's uh, no. a movie where they, like, drive something into the sun. No, it's the, again. That I'm pretty sure what you're talking about is they drive into the center of the earth. Right? No, I'm thinking to of cool a down movie where they fly I know something poor, into yeah. the sun, I'm pretty sure. Have you guys... Wait, the guy just... He sends away... Armageddon, <laughs> I think they're diverting an asteroid or something like that. Oh... Some guy ordered a giant water balloon on Amazon and then put the fucking address as the sun. Yeah. And some fucking guy <laughs> drove out there and fucking Fuck. killed himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Fuck me. <laughs> no. Okay, there's a movie called Sunshine. Uh, this might be what I'm thinking of. Where? Well, let me see. The me of sunshine. Sun is dying, and they try to like go revive it, and then I'm pretty sure they accidentally. Oh, wait, okay, is this what I'm thinking? There's a Bruce Willis movie that's not Armageddon called Tears of the Sun. No, that's a war movie. It's really oh. depressing and violent. <laughs> <There's>, yeah. <laughs> Dude, the I'm sun driving the sun. Tears of the sun. They a bunch of they, astronauts yeah, flew into shit it. out of yeah. it and hit it with a water balloon. <laughs> yeah. They force it into submission. <laughs> like, make it cry and cool it down. <laughs> a fucking piss-filled water balloon at his face. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, is there, how would you even search this? Earth number one. Earth. I wish we were the only fucking planet ever. Yeah. Let's be one planet, guys. Let's not be. Let's not be so nationalist with all these fucking. Yeah. You know, we're one world. You know, one love. That would unite the world, though. Like, like if we yeah, could fight alien aliens. Life. Yeah. Like, did, did you see that they had like a, UFOs? Isn't that a is that a movie? That is a movie. Oh, that's a wait, trope, that's Watchmen. Watch, watch, yeah, that's watch, the plot man. of Watchmen. The book, yeah, where it's like. Oh God! They it's space squids are coming here and they're fucking up the Earth, but it's actually made by science and then it unites the world and the Cold War doesn't happen and all that stuff. Is this space squids or, or is it just Doctor Manhattan? I think is what it is. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure Doctor Manhattan, like they know he's from, like he was a scientist. Yeah, like turned into Doctor Manhattan. I'm pretty sure. And like, no, uh, what's his name, Ozymandias or whatever makes like these portals that are they're supposed to be like for another dimension and like squid like fall on the earth all the time and people are like what the fuck it's signs of aliens and then he releases like a huge one that destroys parts of new york and kills like a fuck ton of people oh in the movie they just do like a atomic bomb no yeah yeah no but in the comic and in the in the watchman tv show they talk about oh. it more Gotcha. Have you seen the show? The show's actually really good. I heard it was good, but I might watch it earlier this year. Is I don't get a whole lot of viewing time oh, I don't for have stuff. A lot of free time. Yeah, I watch everything. I know you watch everything. You, I'm you, very you, jealous of your very viewing. impressive. Yeah. Honestly, like, well, it's because I have nothing else going on. You got the you well, look at all your stuff behind you. You got yeah, plenty man. of possessions. You got more my things. Yeah. Wait, did you? Things. Did you just move poop? Yeah, yeah. He so they in. moved all that shit in. He settled in. Hard. Yeah, I settled in. Yeah. Well, I just like I yeah. didn't have you know my office downstairs isn't done, so I had to put everything in my room. That was in my old apartment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that movers just kind of is that a mover I actually? I, in the... I didn't tip them. I didn't pay yeah. them well. They just threw all my yeah. shit. They even brought their own <laughs> garbage. Just... just put it in here. <laughs> yeah. They just shoved um, it in there. And they fuck. They spilled barbecue and ketchup oh, on my shirt. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. That uh, place. He showed me a picture of it before they got there. It was immaculate. He looked beautiful. It was so nice. And then, yeah. And they greased up my hair. They... Yeah. Hey, that's not the same microwave. <laughs> I don't even it... see a microwave. <laughs> There's a microwave oh, right there. behind you. Yeah, that's his backup. Couple. That's how wealthy he is. Triples. Yeah. triples the microwave, triples the fridge, triples the freezer. <laughs> oh, you he's, know got what a, what it, he's got a 1200 watt microwave in the kitchen. Yeah, what does that mean? And then a 700 water for the things that require a little bit of slow cooking. You know? It's like an oven. Well, mead. Yeah. Do you, have you heard of this? These people on on the uh, poop stream, they like immediately were asking him how much wattage his fucking I, microwave I was. I swear to God, I've had that before though, where a big streamer raided me they and they just, made me. They I asked, think it might have been Pestilli. It might have been Pestilli, and they made Pestilli's me. Pestilli's got a microwave thing. 
Well, Wubby does I, too. It's fucking. It's not stupid. It's cool. I love you guys. <laughs> not yeah. to not to shit on me. This is your bread guns. and butter. But there's nothing worse than uh, fucking Twitch culture. Uh, the uh, Twitch culture I, of I, like. This is, hey, that's my job suck. too, bitch. No, it's not. But they. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> about, hold on. Let's look at Omid's hour god. stream this month, and then oh, compare. God, to, I need to. I, I need to. I know what it is. I looked at it before. I got on how many hours you stream this month, Omid? In July. Yeah. Did, Over the last did 12 days, subathons. 87 two, hours. 87 oh hours. My God, no. He did two subathons. Okay, if I was getting that many subs, yeah, maybe <laughs> I'd be streaming a lot, too. Did you see me so come into your chat yesterday? Is, I think you were you were in the middle of something, but because you were like, I don't know if I can make it 1 p.m. You know, I'll have to drink some coffee or something. And uh, yeah. and I went and looked in your chat, and it said you had like an hour left until... Oh. So that's the thing with the subathon, which, by the way, it took me a long time to get like wrap my head around doing this because it just it seems so sleazy. Uh -huh. But basically, you but uh, start in with like an hour timer, and you know, like if you get a certain amount of subs, like if you, a sub is two minutes and it adds to the timer, and then like, well, if you're Pastilli, your cap is fucking mm. like 50 sixty days. days, fifty days, or Ludwig, the guy who did it before, thirty days, right? And then uh, I put my cap at like 18 hours because I was like, yeah, I'm not trying to stream for two weeks. And yeah, if they sub, you know, if they get to that time, then they get to it. And if they didn't like yesterday. So, yeah, I mean, like I planned like that I would be done for the, the whole day. But yeah, they let the timer go out at four hours and I had to hide my disappointment. Yeah. Oh. I didn't do it very well. I was like, yeah, yes, yeah. I can sleep. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I have a thing tomorrow. I was I was. But yeah, I mean, like. But you were like, God damn it, I didn't get enough money. I'm gonna fucking <laughs> yeah. kill myself. What am I gonna do? I guess I'll just stream. How many like, subs did you get the first one? Oh, I got a lot of subs. How I, many? I, I don't even remember how many. Drop a number. You can't remember. I don't remember how many, but I'm. Um, ballpark it. Yeah, I can't because I don't know. Do you want me to look it up? I yeah, look like up. I'm not gonna fuck you don't up even my have number. A remote ballpark. I'm not gonna fuck that's up the us. number. All right. You don't even have a remote <laughs> well, ballpark. I, I got okay. Got? I got. I think I got over over 200 subs. I think. Damn. At two minutes a piece, right? Two minutes yeah, each. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. if this makes sense, it's like thousand minutes. 18 hours, <laughs> and then uh, each sub is like two minutes. But I, it wasn't all subs too. Like bits and donations did too. The thing that like so I mean I, when I did it I was like. In my mind, the way I justified it, I was like, well, you know, like, I'm not obligating anybody. And I let them know, like, I'm going to stream regardless, guys. Like, tomorrow I'm going to stream. You can do watch for free, okay? Like, this is just, like, I guess something extra. And I just was like, yeah, fuck it. Sam, you, know, you should do a I sub gotta, a I got to do. Yeah. He can't go past. You can't like, go past, like, a certain amount of hours. hours. You I, kids, I, can't do, I can't go past 5 p.m. <laughs> Yeah, Abby, so Abby, Abby comes some... in. She kicks down the front door and every, every <laughs> afternoon and goes, uh, "Are you gonna get her out of the car? Because I have fucking tennis yeah. elbow and I have to go out there and <laughs> get the car seat because the baby's yeah. really heavy." Uh, bitch, you, you need, guy you need another like hate. hurricane coming your way so they all like yeah. get out of there. Yeah. Your family, yeah. yeah. Oh. No. Can fucking well, I don't steal know. Your hurricane I want your house. season <laughs> is like usually in a pretty hot time oh, period, so like. My in-laws have a pool now, so if they go oh, over there yeah. and the hurricane hits, I might go over there. Because, yeah, hurricanes suck. It's all rainy. But afterwards, once there's no power for a week, like, a pool is pretty yeah, fucking pool. nice. Yeah. Damn. You you have to promise Poop one thing. If your house gets completely obliterated by a hurricane, you have to give them your Hanway. It's like owed yeah. to him. Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. I mean. Yeah, and the Hanway yeah. is actually strong it's, enough that you can probably uh, shove went, it in the ground without breaking it. Yeah, what I is a Hanway? Like, I want the right, family. Like a stick. Am I crazy? You want the family? The <laughs> I want the family and I want the power. That's if what you, I want. If you, in the event that you are, you know, taken want, in a hurricane, Sam Poob will step in. I want full rights to post memes on the Patreon, <laughs> and uh, I want a thumbnail overview for Stalt because I was I didn't approve of the Wubby thumbnail. Really? Stalt. What was I'm the kidding. I'm, I'm just joking. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was basic. And I it, thought you. I yeah, know the you Wubby thumbnail was basic, and the one the one before that the there was there was, was something. A you're a little slacking. A little slacking. But, yeah. He's but I know you do a lot of work. I know you do a yeah. lot of work, so it's also like kind of it's not really that important of an aspect. What's but it's kind of like you know the outside of your house. You you know you wouldn't would you wouldn't have a million dollar home in a 
you know, uh, shitty shingles on it or whatever. Yeah. But some people do. Some of the cum squire yeah. one is so fucking good. Yeah, no, some of them are. Really, yeah, some really, of them are fucking great. Really well made. Yeah, <laughs> we're nothing we'll without like poo. <laughs> Please come <laughs> back. <laughs> uh, there's some really good ones, man. <laughs> there are some decent yeah. ones. No, I know. I'm just joking. <sighs> just I remember kidding. specifically there was one that you were like, you had a great idea for a thumbnail. I'm, I'm going back to look at it. Forget which one. Oh, it was the Hufflepuff Sigma male one, I think. No, oh, yeah. that was. <laughs> it was supposed to be like a hair. Like you were, you were talking about there being like a Harry Potter guy, like photoshopping one of our faces over like one of the little wizard boys. I don't yeah. know, like John Wick in it. Yeah, I don't or, like John yeah. Wick in John it too. Wick. Yeah. I, like I saw someone arguing like. Mouth. Have you guys and seen Chernobyl? Brains. That TV show. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Great. yeah. Great. You, great you, who's the fucking asshole that's like? It's uh, it's only three Runkin or whatever. The guy that's like the the manager of the yeah, with the slick back hair and the yeah. mustache, and he's and like shit. the biggest asshole. Yeah, I yeah. saw someone talking about Lee. him being like the best Sigma male of all time. They're like, it doesn't matter how much radiation's getting dumped in there. He doesn't give <laughs> he a is. fuck. That guy yeah, is the best Sigma male. He is like, the, <laughs> the postered boy yeah. child of it. Fifteen thousand Runkin, don't give a fuck. I don't care. Sigma's all a, a, a fucking Sigma in charge of a sea of beta males yeah. on running a power yeah. plant, nuclear they power plant. They keep coming back with radiation yeah. burns on their face. He doesn't give a shit. He gets like, brought in front of the tribunal and they're like, by the way, you killed like 100,000 people. He's like, it wasn't my fault. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Fuck you. I yeah. fucking hate you all. Yeah. He's like, yeah, not my know. job. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I have cancer. I'm gonna die. So what are you gonna do? Throw me in prison? <laughs> I think he says, like, he's, they're not gonna throw me in prison. I have literally like I am a power plant in my yeah, body. It's like my <laughs> prostate looks like a fucking small cantaloupe. I don't give a shit. Oh, <laughs> what a fucking so dick! Horrific. What an actual like. My God! Like I can't believe that that is that's what happened. Like one I mean, one guy's like fucking like mental. Yeah, he had like ego. an insane power trip. And he Insane just, ego, and yeah. he's like, "That's what I aspire to is being that kind of Sigma male, though." And that guy, he's the hero <laughs> in my book. When I watch that, watch it through <laughs> that Sigma lens. Go watch it. Be like, cities. look at him go. They keep bringing him new information. He shuts it down. He says that's dog Got shit. <laughs> no, no, no. Titanic. That's like, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's really <laughs> it's not that ship bad. Yeah. 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 It's, it, it's that guy reincarnated. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> reincarnation. It's, what if it's the same guy over and over again going through yeah. different yeah. lives? Like, every you. tragedy. I'm in charge. Yeah. Shut the hell up. <laughs> the ultimate Sigma male. <laughs> Yeah, so what? Now Fuck, it's two I boats. I from this iceberg. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> two boats. I gave you two boats. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And a bunch of little ones now in the water. Look at that. I yeah. listen to 30 boats. Yeah. <laughs> now the it's boat an Atlantic cruiser. Thanks to me. Oh, man. Uh, oh, you said it was cramps before? Here you go. Now everyone gets out. Yeah, Everybody's yeah. spread oh. out, and you guys still keep complaining. Yeah. Uh, I give these guys a once in a lifetime experience. Yeah. They can't it's in 4D. It. The water's splashing all <laughs> over you. <laughs> Immersion. Immersion like you've never believed. Disney yeah. Cruises one day will try to emulate this. <laughs> Mark my words. Oh my God. Yeah. That's like the, uh, it's like that Rick and Morty uh, bit no. where uh, Jerry's like obsessed with the Titanic. Oh, and yeah. He just goes on a Titanic like reenactment. Oh. And they they do everything. Yeah. They do everything. That, I I swear that would totally be a thing. That's I could completely see that. yeah. foreseeable. Reenacting um, horrible tragedies. After enough time has passed, it's no longer tragic. Yeah. So like fifty years from now, they're gonna have like see what it's like to be an office worker in the World Trade oh Center. God. And it's tragedy, like, comedy. You know, it's the duality. Him. You know, you have to balance them out. You gotta yeah. balance out a little bit of tragedy with a little bit of comedy. Yeah. Well, they'll do it at first. It won't be a comedy bit. Exactly. It's just gonna be like, like in yeah. remembrance or something. Like this is their view. And, and then, then a bunch, bunch of, of people are that are be, enthusiasts whoa, will go. Pies in the people's faces yeah. and falling and then, over, and their shoes will be squeaking, and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> their big clown shoes will be squeaking and stuff. <laughs> Yeah. What's but what are you doing? Oh, I'm talking about. I don't know. It's comedy, Your right? Your face. Uh, okay. Where? Why are the clowns throwing pies? 
Oh, I, th- I was talking about I like turning, turning 9-11 into a comedy. Well, you just get a how few else clowns? do you translate into a comedy? Like a bunch of a clown car of firefighters show up and they all go up there and they're just oh, putting pies in the fire, put pie yeah. in the fire. <laughs> put pie in the fire. Yeah. Okay. You hear it like down the, the stairwell, you just hear their shoes. Oh, echoing, yeah. 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 echoing off yeah. into eternity. Hundreds of them yeah. come out of one little fire truck. Yeah. Boom! Light lit up so fast that he said that. <laughs> and he, and he, at the end, more and then the, yeah. what else? The clown said. No, they run. They runs all the way up there, opens the door. It's just this horrible blazing fire, and he squirts his little lapel flower. Yeah. On it. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Someone, someone has to get real close to it and sniff it. And then, <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> yeah. it's, like try, it's like trying to burn, 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 cool down the sun. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, we shouldn't uh, laugh at that, though. Anyways, Amit, immediately after that, cool. do you have a, you got a stream or something you want to plug? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> What's your Are we at the end Amid? already? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then we'll carry on this 9-11 bit. Yeah, you know, I'm from Iran. You know, I can't joke about that shit at all. Yeah, that's why you we should be laughing. This a... is our joke, not yours. You're just Hate here for the ride. Terrorism. Yeah, you. I'm just. You sit this yeah. one out. Yes. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I got a. I got a Twitch uh, stream a lot of Tarkov mostly. Yeah. The Twitch. Never played that. Is that good? Fuck. Do me love. That was a you great have, video, Sam. You should try some variety sometimes. Pretty. It's whatever. Yeah. It's all the same. Speaking shit. of what, fucking uh, Stalt came in here thinking like, oh, Sam's gonna just be talking nothing about Tarkov, and I was like, nah, there's no way he does not talk about games on yeah. here. And I was right. No, I was right. Talk about you were right. I was we right. didn't talk about it. No, it's yeah, a not podcast. a fucking it's word. Like the last thing people, uh, yeah. even in my own Tarkov videos, besides the intro, I don't think there's a shot fired in anger through the whole thing. It's mostly us just <laughs> talking about whatever we're talking about. Not yeah, very when boys Tarkov. Get together, it's yeah. always a funny time. It's, it's just, just a little podcast. Yep, yeah, just the basically a, it's cut like a up podcast. mini podcast. Every time we talk to each other, yeah. I don't the even Adam see Sandler people. podcast, movie yeah. podcast. I don't see use people. I see use movie props club. in my pod links. Uh, I see little pod links. Little armory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, yeah. I go to twitch.tv forward slash Omid Live. Thank you. You and have to also, say Omid live because otherwise you'll go yeah. to another. I like another guy. Omid. Damn, yeah. Look at Omid. Plays RuneScape. Omid he carries like He's an Alibaba merch. sword and he beheads goats and shit. It's really weird. But if you <laughs> like, I guess oh. RuneScape, just go to forward slash Omid. Yeah. Regular Omid. Yeah. He's yeah. a pretty good yeah. RuneScape streamer. I will say. Uh, yeah. I've rated him Buy several Omid's times. Merch. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, thank you. I rated player. him, and then I oh, look at him, and I go, what the fuck? This is not the right guy. <laughs> I think I rated him twice, and I'm like, I, and oh then I, yeah, God. he's got quite a few raids from friends. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Actually, he came in my chat. He's like, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> One Omi to another Omi. Really, yeah. really awesome stuff. This guy's whole career just is just made up of other people accidentally <laughs> rating him. <laughs> that's pretty it's pretty incredible to get a four letter name because I'm pretty sure you can't even change it to a four letter anymore. I could be wrong, but uh, maybe it's on Twitter. There's one of them where I've tried to get poop. There is no, there's no one has poop yeah. on something and I just can't fucking get it. Do you think it's I don't too be risky? Poop. I just want to be poop. Do you think it's too risky for me to appeal to get the banned handle of my previous Twitter account. That's Maybe. risky business, dude. That's risky. What is it just stay yeah. away, what do you have? Sam. I you're have... gonna get the secretary account banned. <laughs> it's just, just be General fucking Sam happy secretary. that you secretary. Be Sam happy Sam. you don't have to do the secretary bit anymore and yeah. enjoy. You're, you're not getting that account. And I back, want man. General Sam back as a. <laughs> As a handle, you're not getting that shit back, man. Yeah, and I'll, I'll appeal for it. Be like, hey, the this, other this tweets. fucking loser got banned. Like, I should be able to have that. I'm another General <laughs> Sam, completely unrelated. Yeah, He's, unrelated. Yeah, <laughs> unrelated. You should probably give me that. That's my the evil profile. twin brother. Yeah, I'm actually. A cool we happen guy. to have a lot of the same people in our DMs and follow a lot of the same people. Exact same people. Yeah, yeah. both it's love, a tight love circle. Play, hate gays. Yep. I mean, it's. All those but things. I would never post about it. Yeah. <laughs> they go through the tweets and see the deleted, all the deleted ones, which is like, you know, that's how they, they can get you. Yeah. You see the deleted porn star fucking jerk off. Just Do, all can they see all that stuff? Deleted. 
I guarantee you that they can filter by deleted tweets. Like I guarantee. Mm, yeah. That's just not tweet good. a bunch of shit and delete it. Just <laughs> make uh, their oh. job harder. Yeah. I mean, I know Twitch does oh. that shit. Like they oh, hold they on save, to everything. They save all the old they stuff. Save deleted everything. VODs. Yeah, a lot of deleted a lot of VODs. these websites. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not only do they not delete VODs, anybody can go and see that deleted VOD if they if they're tech savvy. So yeah. Oh. So there's a lot what of people it, who dox themselves. And then people get access to that, and they'll just they'll just be like, hey, "Look at this." <laughs> yeah, it's uh, oh, yeah. Twitch is God. great, man. including you, poop. Great, I love working for Twitch. But you, contractor, you, oh, you're kind of safe, poop, unless they know Christ. the exact name, like title of the of the video oh, that got deleted. You're God. probably fine. Or if you stream like maybe ten times uh, every two months, maybe it'd be easy to see how many deleted vods there are. I don't know. Oh, shit. No, I actually do. <laughs> yeah. I believe a lot of them just Blackout for fun. drunk tonight or whatever. <laughs> for fun. The title. Uh, yeah. Oh. I've only doxed up my friends and myself a couple, couple tens of times. It's not that bad. How many of your VODs have you deleted because of me? I mean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was time that first together. week we played together i think like there was like four was like every three single out one. of four i think yeah three like, out of yeah, four like i that. unlisted and downloaded it and i should have offered yeah, hey do you want my pov mm -hmm. but at the same time i didn't want you to have my pov <laughs> you're, at all. You're, pissed. you're pissed about it <laughs> no i mean i wasn't pissed. i knew what was happening when you called me up i mean yeah. i've seen your videos for a long long time you know i, I actually you know i I don't know if I should mention this. It's a little embarrassing, but I, I remember talking to Poop. I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm a little anxious about talking talking to Sam. And then, and Poop and then, was then like, you met me, and you're like, this fucking guy. Oh, mean. Yeah, this guy, the fucking <laughs> rat fuck. Poop I like, this. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Yeah. Same with Aqua. Aqua called you a sweetheart. And, uh, you know, that's for the most part, that's true. Now, on <laughs> stream, you can give me a heart face. attack. Poop's like, rah, rah. Yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> A wolf but, uh, being called, you know, wolf in sheep's clothing or whatever. But wait, nah, he's a good guy. He sent what me exactly some, did you did ban? He, okay, so I remember the, mo the, the I, I still day. remember the moment where I was like, I have to delete this VOD. Uh, so you and I were talking. I even remember where we were at. We were Shoreline Resort. We were talking, and you said something like, "Hey, what other uh, like female Twitch streamers do you do you watch?" Or something like that. That was the, what's your favorite like, female Twitch streamer? Yeah. And I said, hey, I don't really watch any, like, Tarkov. Or you said, who's your favorite female Tarkov streamer? And I said, hey, I don't really, like, watch any Tarkov streamers. I just watch my friends. Like, I play this game, like, 12 hours a day. Like, I'm not trying to get on and watch, like, somebody else play. Unless it's my buddy or something. And I thought I was safe with that answer. But no. You, you already safe. had yeah. it. You already it's had, you had <laughs> yeah, situation yeah, A, a B, C for that joke. Yeah, and you went, you went, uh, yeah, I feel the same way about, about like, porn or something. <laughs> like, yeah. like, God. I forget exactly, like, how you did, you hit it. I don't want to butcher it if you want to. I, I don't even know what I say. I, yeah. I don't said, remember what I said yesterday or the day before that. It's a blur. It's, it's all a blur. blur. You yeah. said, I think, uh, that's, that's why I don't watch uh, female Twitch streamers is because I just watch so much porn, there's no point. Yeah. Or something well, like yeah. that. Well, that's like, yeah. Most of them. That's not that bad. Most of them on Twitch. It's that's is what it it's, most of them, or is it just the ones that you see? It's, you know, it's all the ones that are group. high up on the viewership thing. No, uh, if you like go by genre or whatever, like if you see Tarkov streamers that are female, there's nothing wrong there. But if you go to just chatting, they're not yeah. just chatting. There is nothing chatty no, no, about I mean, what's happening. Yeah, sounds like yeah. So that was before like hot tub right. meta is, and all that shit. Obviously like obviously now, honestly, if you made that joke, Samsation. If you made that joke now, it would been. I think it would be actually fine to keep it up because that that joke's been like you know tried and tested. Mm. I mean, when she farted into that mic, like that was the fart heard through the platform. You know? Yeah, so oh, Wubby ripples. Why oh, is it okay for Wubby to fart through the mic? You know, all the time, and a woman does it, and all of a sudden it's. I think it's different, dude. Because she's got skin type pants. Yeah, because her hers, hers, hers right is a sexualization the of the fart. And she's being paid to fart. Yeah. I don't know what he does it out of his yeah, own accord. I guarantee he's been yeah. paid to fart in that mic before. There, I and think, dude, now that I think about it, because like Wubby's is from like a, a, like a comedy angle. But I bet mm. you there's somebody that watches them that's like whacking Mass off. And they're like, <laughs> wait until he fucking yeah. does it. He's going to put his asshole right up to yeah. that mic. 
and he's gonna <laughs> let it rip. A little bit of poopy. <laughs> a little bit of poopy this time. He, he so opens yeah. some sulfur and just. Make it 4D. Yeah. yeah. It's like Scratch right when he farts, sniff. then I open it's up like the Tupperware. Like a flashlight <laughs> butt <laughs> in his nose while he's watching yeah. and everything. Really immerses him. So I'm sure it's uh, happened. I'm sure it's happened. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, dude, there's probably somebody that jerked off or masturbated to Sam. There has to be a oh, no. person. 100%. No. For sure. Oh, no, no, no. I that back. There's somebody that, uh, um, well, the one they had like, uh, oh, it was when I sold those socks with my face on them. They they put yeah. the socks in a fucking shoe oh, box no. and whacked off on it like for a month straight. Yeah. But, you know, he was like looking at porn. And yeah. then when he came, he yeah, was like, yeah. here's my box. He looked at your face, though. As he was nutting, he looked at my face. Yeah, so exactly. that's not what brought him that- to climax. But maybe extra couple. No, 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 no. It's the last thing. It's the last thing you look at. It's the last thing you look at. That's how. That's how I stay straight. I look at like constant just gay porn, and then right Right the last thing I put straight porn, porn. (laughs) and I'm like, I'm straight. I'm straight. You pull out the (laughs) picture of boob. (laughs) Just one boob. Yeah, yeah. It's on your left. There's actually a poster in the room. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. Switch off. Well, it's not until you nut. Oh fuck me. Okay. All right, yeah, this is the end of this one. Abby's, like, coming home. (laughs) 